going to put the ocean wings. There we go. Now this is really ASMR. Hello, everybody. Do you hear any background noises? I feel like there's probably some background noise. I'm trying to make my mic as sensitive as possible without like literally every background noise to be hearable. But I am not sure. This is my first time doing this. I'm trying to make every little noise. Well, not every little noise. Like, noises close to my mic to be sensitive. Like, nothing cut out. But, noises far away to be not that hearable. Maybe hearable, but not that hearable. Hee <laughs> hee. This is my first time doing ASMR, oh my goodness. I've never done this before. Do you hear any fuzzy noises when I start speaking? And then it disappears when I stop speaking? I put some ocean waves, hopefully that, that makes it unnoticeable. Oh, it sounds good, okay, yeah, it's still good. I still kind of hear a little bit of myself getting cut out, cause I would have it like that because, because I would scream a lot, <laughs> but now that I'm not screaming, because I'm supposed to be whispering, I want all my whispers to be noted, to be hearable, so you can hear me, I want you guys to hear me, oh, the audio is good then, right, no weird noises, hopefully, hopefully the, uh, the ocean waves can cover some of that. <laughs> Hopefully the ocean waves can cover that. And the, and the cookies. I also have cookie sounds. Yay! Yeah, the ocean waves is helping. Thank God. Thank God for the ocean waves. All hail the ocean waves. All hail the ocean waves. Alrighty guys, I want to greet every single one of you like I always do. So, hola aloha to Sog. Oh my goodness, it's been so long since I've seen you. So you're busy with college? Very good, very good. What are you studying? Uh, do your best, okay? Do your best studying in college. Because if a lot of people that I hear who are content creators, um, even though they became successful, I hear them like during interviews and stuff like that, they say that they regret never having studied like literally anything in college. Even if it's just like a, like a two year degree, I forget what you call those, associate's degree, they say that they still regret it because like, I don't know why to be honest, I don't remember why, but they say that they regret it. Like they want to have a degree, but now they're kind of stuck doing content creation. So they can't really stop doing content creation. And they don't have time for getting a degree anymore? Or something like that? I'm not sure. Getting any simple little degree, doesn't matter what the heck it is. As long as it's something useful. Something that you know you can get a job in, like, quickly. Or not that- oh, not too- not too- Like, you know, like... There's a lot of, um, easy degrees, so you're getting an easy degree for a simple job? Good, 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 good. Good job, Salt. Good job. You're doing the smart, the smart way. Three years ago, in Aloha, I studied something kind of useless. Well, hmm, it's more like I don't want to, I don't want to work in it anymore. I kind of got, I kind of got so exhausted that I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so I've been getting stupid. I've been getting stupid jobs like fast food and retail, which I kind of, not gonna lie, I think I kind of prefer over what I studied, <laughs> even though I still hate it. I literally don't know what job I would like except for being a VTuber. I think I will only ever like VTuber stuff. It's, the, it's my calling, I swear to god, it's my calling, it's the only thing I, I, I enjoy. <laughs> I thought, when I know how to school, welcome. When I know how to musical, welcome, welcome, welcome. Fat dude, when I know how, I don't think I've seen you all for a while. Nice to see you again in chat. Mr. Shorty, when I know how. Oh, 
Thank you for posting on, on Facebook. Arigato, Mr. Shoyo. Yeah, college can be either fun or horrible. I had a good time. I had some horrible moments, but I had a good time because I studied something I liked at first. And so I made a lot of friends that we all, we all chose this degree because we all were interested in it. So we all had a lot of things in common. So I, ha I made some of the best friends I've ever made in my entire life. That's the good thing about studying something you actually have at least a little bit of an interest in. Because the f people you'll meet, you'll, you'll click really quickly with those people. Because you all have similar interests. It's really nice. When Aloha Soft, you're teaching yourself how to make clips and upload them on YouTube. That's super cool! A lot of clippers get really popular for clipping like popular VTubers and stuff like that. They like they love watch like you get a lot of views. Like a lot of them. obviously at first you're not gonna get that many views, but then you like the more you put yourself out there, especially if you make like a Twitter and things like that, the more you'll get noticed. Even even noticed by the people you are clipping, like like if you're clipping like um Kiara, Kiara's very like she likes talking to fans and stuff like that, and more Calliope too. So clipping them would actually um uh, they will actually like sometimes respond or repost and things like that, and um, that can help you get a, like a big step forward. So yeah, a lot of whole life. There's some whole life talents that like to interact with the fans. They're really cool for that. Oh, you posted on TikTok? That's a good place. That's a good place. TikTok has a lot of visibility, I think. Mr. Shanto and Aloha. College is cool. Just stay focused on your studies. Hope you have a car. Oh my god, I don't have a car. That's the worst part. But the good thing about studying in Puerto Rico is that if you live in the city side, everything is nearby. So because I lived closer to the city and my parents could always take me to college and I never had to worry about a car, buying a new car, because my parents have the car. So it was great. Um, but I did have this one friend who lived way too far away from the city. She lived all the way in the far ass campo. And so she literally had to move. She stayed in a, in like a little apartment place. Uh, close, to, like, really, 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 really close to the college. And so she could just go walking to college. So yeah, that, she was like the only person I knew who had to do that. Because everybody else would lived in the city. <laughs> There's not a lot of people who live in the countryside. <coughs> and I know how to school. You had a 3.96 your first term at Drevry in 1985. Whoa. In you're in the 1980s, bro. You have a real hag here. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm a hag too. I'm 69 years old. I, I remember when it was, what, what it was like in the 1985. <laughs> I totally remember that, definitely. I'm not lying at all. No car, no job. Bought Atari video games. Damn, you, you, didn't, you didn't use the money for a car. You used it for video games. Flunked a couple classes, second turn. Screwed up my low. What? Came home after two years? Oh my, what the heck? Jesus. I don't drink. I don't want to become a typical drunk Mexican. <laughs> Wait. Drunk Mexicans are typical? I didn't even know that. But I don't see a point in college unless I have an inspiration or a job I want to study to. And I did, I think. The thing is, nowadays, it's kind of really hard to get a job. Like, I've noticed that. Like, they want you to at least have a bachelor's degree in literally anything. It doesn't matter what the heck it is. And... Um, sometimes you can do like internships, like where they don't pay you, which is totally, it should be illegal, but they don't pay you, but at least you have experience. You put that shit on your resume, and then they'll hire you. So like, they want you to have experience, and they want you to have any kind of whatever bachelor's degree. You could have a bachelor's degree in wiping butts. It doesn't matter what the heck it is, just study anything, and then they'll take you seriously. Otherwise, they won't hire you, unless you go for like grocery store as the bagging person then you kind of don't need to have any degree for that but nowadays i kind of feel like you probably do at this point <laughs> they want you to literally have any kind of like legitness or you're not like an alien like i think i feel like they 
They only want people to have a bachelor's degree, otherwise they think you're an alien and you're like going to, you're a reptilian going to like, uh, put stuff in the food in the grocery store and like, they'll put your eggs in their food and then spread the reptilianness all over Earth. That's probably why, because I can't think of another, another reason why you would need a bachelor's degree to be the bagger in a grocery store. Like, it's ridiculous. How to get a job here is really ridiculous. <laughs> The only background noise I have is Nick or piping. <laughs> Wait, is he in your house? What? ASMR moment. Yeah, sounds good. Hey, Hawk, I'm like Adam. Hola, aloha, Hawk. Nice to see you on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Hola, aloha. I know, but the ocean is helping. Oh, okay, you hear a little bit of background noise. Not at all, though. It's, it's relaxing, though, the background noise. How cool when I'm studying when I'm so lost. It takes a while. I've heard of a lot of people who switch degrees, like, like degree choices, like, four times before they finally settle on one. So it's okay to keep switching around. Like, take a couple classes, see if you can kind of, like, you know, feel, like, feel it a little bit. If you feel like it's just too horrible, <laughs> then you can try another one. If it's not good, you try another one. Keep trying. But give, give, give them a chance, like, stick with it for, like, a couple of classes. Don't just give up after one class. Just stick with it for a little bit, because everything is always going to be kind of hard. Stick with it for a little bit, and, you know, kind of feel it, get a feel for it. And if you feel like it's just, like, too impossible, then you'll be like, okay, never mind, I'll, I'll, pick, I'll go for something else. Like, you know, just get a good enough feel for them, you know? It's okay to keep switching around, trying to find your calling, it's fine. Sometimes you'll never have a true calling, sometimes you just kind of have to pick something, it doesn't matter what. Because some people, they just, they just work just to work, just to pay for their hobbies. You know, sometimes it's okay to have a job that's, that you don't like, you just only have it just to pay for your hobbies. Because your hobbies are the only thing you like. And so you pick a job that gives you time and the money to pay for your hobbies, basically. So, you know, you'll figure it out, you'll figure it out. Take, take your time, don't worry about rushing anything. ASMR voice is making me feel like I should study more. <laughs> I could be your background noise, actually. If it's helping you study, it's like, go ahead and use me as background noise to study. That's totally fine. Reminds me of a talk with an advisor ASMR. <laughs> I'm your advisor now. <laughs> like as real friends. I did? I kind of don't really talk to them anymore. Ever since I became a VTuber, I kind of became way too addicted. And now I don't really talk to them anymore. And I kind of wonder what they're doing now. And wonder if they still remember me. <laughs> it's just like... I want to always be doing VTuber stuff. I'm always doing either behind the scenes or literally streaming. So I kind of don't talk to people that much. Um, like when I talk to people, it's very few, very, very little. Um, the person I talk most with is Nana because we're always talking about VTuber stuff. So that's kind of the reason why I'm able to talk to her so much because it helps me with my, with my passion projects. She helps me with that and I help her. So it's kind of like a back and forth, helping each other with our addictions. <laughs> She's like the perfect friend, I swear to God, because of how much we both have in common with our addictions right now. It's crazy. <laughs> We're like the same person. Came home and enrolled in local technical college. Graduated after three years with excellent grades. Good job, Mr. Jojo. Good job. You're the example now for salt. You know, Nico's not in my house. He's not. We just still hang out in Discord or reality with at all, oh, and the empathy and our friendship is strong. And sometimes we just stay on calls and do just everyday stuff and not talk and just vibe. Oh, that's really nice. I think that was Nana mostly, because either we're in silence or we start sharing like VTuber related content to each other. We're talking about our ideas and plans. I wanted to make Atari video games. Well, fixing computers and studying Japanese is where I am now. It's not too bad. I like that, I like that. Um, it's, in a way, it's kind of related. Because, um, making video games, it's a very technical technique. And fixing computers is kind of related. 
Um, a lot of video games are PC these days, either PC only or PC version. I mostly play PC games. Um, I still do have a Switch though. So, oh, and a 3DS. I actually have a 3DS too, but I don't have anything where I can like connect it to my PC to like to show you guys. Muchísimas gracias! Nyana Banyan has just traded on Twitch with 72 Nyana. viewers. Thank you, Nyana. I was just talking about you. Hola, aloha, everybody. Hola, aloha, Nyana, my bestie. Hola, aloha, mama, mobile dad. Welcome. Hola, aloha, copper trigram. Welcome. Nice to see you again, Jake Boudreau. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I know it's like a French thing or that. E-A-U-X is like an O sound. I don't know why so many letters just to make an O, but Jake Boudreau, I think, right? Hola, aloha, Jules. Welcome. Nice to see you again. Oh, God, now you don't like ASMR, Jules. Well, too bad. Now you're stuck here. Backslash underscore three just became a Twitch mallower. Thank you, thank you. Is it shorter? You should make the child games oh yeah there's a lot of those aren't there they've been becoming popular site for new games to get popular yeah you could do like your own type of games that are like free for people actually i think some of them probably cost monies right the founders of activision went to a debris school in arizona so i went to debris in columbus it was a valuable life experience oh i'm so glad you had a good experience sister shoyo that's really nice. You could try like doing like indie games. Just like I'm an indie VTuber, you can make indie video games. Java and Aloha, Fagina and Aloha, welcome. Kojitelu and Aloha. Nice to see so many friends today. Welcome. Some games cost monies. Oh, never mind. But I mean, you, you technically be getting, it's like a side gig, you'd be getting some side monies if you put it for sale. Maybe like just $5, $10, I don't know. I mostly buy $5 games these days. I should try each AO games. I've never actually bought any or tried any. Peter Rollins, aloha. Si, soy doña Maika, soy la vieja. We are whispering about your nautical video. Excuse me, salt? No, we are not. I am pure say so. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what NSFW means. I don't know. I don't know. I am say so. I am pure. What is that? What language are you speaking? Is this French? I don't know what that means. Nisufu? 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 <laughs> what is Nisufu? <laughs> I don't have a Nisufu addiction. I look at cats mostly, not Nisufu. Oh, oh, I, I, I agree with that. Cats are great to look at. I agree. Cats are, are the right thing. What's an ahigayo? Is that a kind of cheese? Yeah, it must be some kind of cheese. It has a cheese feeling when I read that. I think that's cheese. Ahigo? Ahigo. That's cheese. <laughs> My addiction is VTuber clips. That's what I watch. Those are the type of videos I watch. Can't corrupt the mic out with a hey goo. Hey goo? A hey goo. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Okay, I've literally not done anything. Um, I've literally not done anything ASMR related since I started. I've literally just been just chatting. <laughs> If I accidentally make a loud noise, I am very sorry. I made my mic very sensitive. I am taking out a magic object. I have taken out the magic object. Can you guess what it is? What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know what that's for. It came with it, I don't know what that is. You know, this looks way as smart. Creepy sound. Crumple, crumple. Does this sound comfy to you? Do crumples work for you? 
I get to keep this ring, I'm gonna fall asleep. That's the point, Java. I'm putting you to Eepy. It's Eepy time. Kinder Bueno? <laughs> no, no, this is just a random snack that came with the uh, magic object. Sprinkle for the illusion thingy. What is that? <laughs> it's definitely not that because I don't know what that is. <laughs> I really don't know what that is. Okay, let let me actually use the magic object. Here's our magic object. Now do you know what it is? The Lakawainiko just became a Twitch Malower. Surprise illusion. Was that a video game? Is that an Atari video game? As you mentioned, an Atari game? I've never heard of it. But then again, I've never had an Atari, so that's probably why. <laughs> Wait, did I put the wrong category? Oh my god, I forgot to I forgot to put Twitch categories. I'm sorry, I'm new to Twitch. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Thank you for reminding me. Ah. Okay, now I fixed it. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, <laughs> I did a stupid. I did a stupid. Coming outside. I am Baka. <laughs> no use, sis. No use, sis. <laughs> the very end, two both ends of the kalimba are really short. So they're kind of harder to make, to like, smack and to make noise. I use my nail to smack them. My nail is long and not until it breaks. They break a lot if I let them be grow too long. And I'm not growing them long just to have long nails. I'm growing them long because I forget to cut them. <laughs> also, one of them is kind of twisted. I wonder if I can get something to fix that. Slightly, slightly twisted. Can I grasp one on the left side? This one right here, you hear him? Bing, 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 bing. That little guy is a little bit bent. A little bit bent to the right, just a little too much. Compared to everybody else, all these little guys are very normal. Oh, all the other little noise making eyes are very normal, but this guy right here, he's a little too much to the right, he's a little too bent. I didn't buy this. This is like the cheapest kalimba I found on Amazon. <laughs> the cheapest kalimba on Amazon, so that's what I paid for. <laughs> you like the sound of the kalimba? <laughs> Mm -hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna do the what 
Where is the booty? No, not the booty. In the monk noises. Um. <laughs> the Lumba music book. Why the heck is it right now? Shoot, I don't even know those. I didn't really watch Sailor Moon much as a kid. I mean, as a very grown old woman. I didn't watch it. I watched like random episodes when they showed up and I stayed up late enough. But I didn't get like that interested to where I was dedicating myself to stay up late just to watch it. Instead of Orgel Fantasia, Kalimba Fantasia, is Orgel a music instrument? I've never heard of an Orgel. Uh oh, I think we're gonna have an ad in one minute. Two minutes, no wait, a minute and 22 seconds. I see, I see Twitch give me a notification. Okay, everybody get yourselves ready for a little ad. It's gonna break the comfy vibes, the ASMR comfy vibes. Be mentally prepared, to, prepared for, a, for a surprise ad. For a blast of loud noise. <laughs> I don't know how loud the ad is going to be, but it's probably not going to be as quiet and soft as the stream right now. <laughs> uh oh, in a couple seconds now, 47, 43, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. It's almost time for the ad. Become mentally prepared, guys. The ad's going to ruin the vibe. The vibe's gonna die! The vibe's gonna die! No! In 20 seconds! <laughs> Sorry, I hope my hiccup wasn't that loud. I'm gonna say, oh my god, in 10 seconds. No, 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 not yet, no, not the ads, curse the ads, no! One second! Wait a minute, that was that the ad break ended? I thought that was that the ad was gonna start. I am so confused. I don't understand Twitch, bro. An Orgel is like a music box. Give Super S Orgel Fantasia a listen. It's on YouTube. Oh, Nali Wondo. Nali Wondo. Who, which one of you guys got man? Did any of you guys get an ad? Did the ad actually end? Did it just begin? I'm so confused right now. Like, I got a pop-up on Twitch telling me that something ad-related. And I don't know which one's which. Oh, okay, so the ad ended then. We got an ad of 15 seconds. Nari hodo, nari hodo. Do you like this kind of noise? Wiping? Some wooden objects? Is that loud? I feel like it's kind of loud to me. I've seen people do this in, in ASMR. This is the sound of my wooden kalimba. It has a little bit of an echo. Is this comfy? It's not too loud, is it? This is my fingers. Give him a good old pat on the back for being a good boy. A good little Kalimba boy. Many pats on the back. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna head head it. Head pat my Kalimba. Wait, I think he's too quiet. Yeah, it's too quiet. I need to make my mic more sensitive. Oh no. Oh, so quiet, bro. <laughs> Do you hear more background noise? <laughs> oh, this is too much background noise. Sounds like the edge of fi uh, fingernails on bongo drum heads. It's gently tapping, you hear it? I wish I had those mics that had the ears, the fake ears. That'd be really cool because then I can make more realistic ear noises. So it feels like I'm destroying your ears in real time. 
and pressing the ears in real time. Do you hear too much background noise? I'm trying to make my mic sensitive. They're creating the music of comp. I want headphones that are Micah's ear. Micah's hair ones. <laughs> that would be really funny to have that on top of the head. I drank some agua. Kalimba smack. Kalimba smack. Kalimba pow pow. Boom chakalaka. Imagine the head headphones that have my, the flower too. Hair bun and the flower. I can go. I can go bald. Oh no, I'm bald now. <laughs> Look at me. The rest of my hair is gone. Now I'm only buns. Everyone go check my account on only buns. <coughs> Crinkly sounds now. It's not too loud, is it? Did it get louder for you? I'm playing with the green gosh. This is the little sack with information that the Kalimba comes with. Not before my hiccup. I made a little hiccup. Hiccup. Also, I have another type of green gosh. Oops. This is a little package that came in the mail today. Um, for those of you who are, who did, who are not on my Discord. I forgot who it was, but somebody discovered that there's a Squishmallow that's a piña colada. And his name is Mieko. And it kind of looks like the name Mike a little bit. And we were like, oh my god, this is destiny. I need this Squishmallow. He's a coconut. And filled with piña colada inside, and his name is Mieko. And I was like, I need him. And and everyone was like, Oh my God, you totally need this. So I got I got donated a little bit of money just so I could go buy him from a website I've never bought before because I couldn't find him on Amazon. And he came in the mail today, and he's very cute. I don't think I can make any cool noises with him though. Sorry, this is squishy. Yeah, he makes no noises. I'm squishing him right now. He doesn't make any noise. I guess he does have his name tag still on it. Yeah, I got him. I, I posted it on Twitter. He's so cute and so squishy. He's actually smaller than I thought. He like fits in both my palms on my hand. Like if I put both my hands on it, it's kind of like the size of one larger sized booba. Like a booba that was kind of on the bigger side, like maybe a D cup, I don't know, like one D cup booba, I think. <laughs> Is the size of one D cup booba? Would this be a D cup? I don't know. I, I don't really know how to tell a cup size by just looking at it. I just know that if it's big, it's big. <laughs> and if it's small, it's probably on the A or B side. <laughs> he like a he like a squishy booba. Don't stuff him in the bra. <laughs> I need two of him so I can stuff him in a really big bra, and then I can finally say I have booba. I have I have a big size booba. YouTuber is always on that cup quest. Yeah, I need two of them. I need two two miracles now. I can finally say I have booba. I mean, I have booba. I, I definitely do. It's just... 
You know what? We're changing this up again. I have Booba. YouTuber is always on that. <laughs> oh, we went on a couple places. It's not important right now. I'm I'm a big woman. Uh, big sized cup woman. But wait, what? Big big cup sized woman. Definitely. I have the tri quadruple Z cup. I'm very large. My Luba is so big, it doesn't even fit on this island. <laughs> That's how big my Luba is. <laughs> Everyone's jealous of my Luba because I am so attractive. <laughs> Here's his new tag. That's his name tag. It says Miko. Original Squishmallows. It has like frosting, like, like, um, like, cream, uh, cream, uh, air. What's it called? <laughs> it's not frosting, it's the airy one. He has that on top of his head. Whipped cream, that's what I meant to call it. Whipped cream. It says, Meet Miko. Miko is laid back, relaxed, and cool as a cucumber. Nothing makes Miko happier than sitting in the sun and listening to some of her favorite tunes. Oh, it's a girl, I didn't realize. When Miko is in her happy place, she doesn't need a worry in the world. Want to chill with Miko? She's so cute. Oh my goodness, I didn't know she was a girl. I called her a boy on my Twitch, I mean Twitter. She costs only $8.99. My quest would be the A-size wife quest. A-size? Really? You like A, a cup? You actually like A cups? People like A cups? Really? Um, you know, when I said I had the quadruple Z cup that didn't fit on this island, um... <laughs> I don't know, I always, I always feel, <laughs> I always feel like everybody likes a giant booba and not small booba. So then I feel like I'm not pretty. <laughs> Everybody's always about that giant booba, bro. Everybody's always about that giant booba. You, you know, growing up, you're always told that you should try to, like, either do something to make your vupa bigger or pretend you have vupa by giant, by buying, what? By buying a bigger bra size and filling it with something and hoping that it doesn't, that it doesn't, um, get squished in orange to where you can tell that there's air inside it. Oh my god. One time, my mom told me to buy a bigger cup size for my quinceañera. And, uh, <laughs> they kept. And also the dress, like, kind of kept slipping a little bit to show that, like, showing the bra. And I had to keep lifting it because the bra was just so big, bro. I was so small that the bra was too big. <laughs> and then, like, we had a photographer. And he, there was this one picture that he took where you could see the bra. Because <laughs> it was a very different color from the dress. And it was like, Ooh. I was like, we're deleting that picture right now. Hello, <laughs> Devonia Nanoha. Welcome. Oh my god, he got summoned when we talked about A Cups and Flat is Justice. He was summoned. The lowly devotee was summoned. Hello, hello, the body. We're doing comfy stream today. Do you hear this? Bless my ears tonight. <laughs> I shall do my best to bless her. Yeah. I hope this is a comfy sound. I'm just playing with the main tag a little bit. <laughs> Playing with the A cup with my um, I mean the name tag. Why did I say that? <laughs> that I don't know why I said 
that. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing with the name tag. Why did I say that? I'm Halloween. The underscore notorious underscore M just became a Twitch mallower. Thank you, the notorious M. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Hola, aloha. Yeah, it's my little coconut name tag. Her name is Miracle and she's very squishy. She's a squish mallow. Yeah, I'm just playing with the name tag where it says her name is Miracle. And what her personality is like. And she's a piña colada. There's a coconut with piña colada inside of her. Monies, monies, monies! Alvarez wasted 15 dollars of money. Have a nice night, miss. Have a nice night, Money well wasted every money time. Money well wasted every time. And thank you, Junior Alvarez. Thank you for your kindness. Arigato. Oh, maybe I should make these, these, uh... These, um, sound a little quieter for my ASMR stream. That might have startled people. I just realized. Coconuts can be piña colada if they want to. Yeah, you can just cut them open. All you have to do is cut them open. If you cut them open, then... They can fill them with anything. Fill with piña colada to all your desire. I'm gonna lower the volume of some of these things for today's stream. Putting them all at 8. eight level 8. Level 8. Level 8, level 8, level 8, level 8. Nivel 8. Nivel 8, nivel 8, nivel 8. 8, 8, 8. Ahí está. El próximo, ¿dónde está? Acá. Nivel 8, nivel 8, nivel 8. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Ahí tenemos. Toma piña colada. I can make you some piña colada. I'll have to go to the bathroom real quick, but I can definitely make you some pizza colada. I'll come back with pizza colada in a cup for you. Would you like that? Some pizza colada in a cup? Freshly made? <laughs> it's fine, she made a meal out of me a few weeks ago. I'm fine, just purple now. <laughs> Apparently, accept your fate. Yeah, everything is fine. Don't worry, Lily Devoni. You're only eaten in half. The ne the next half of you is still alive. Mr. Shonja Nanara. Oh, does Hawaiian Punch not come in large cans anymore? I remember they would come in large, gal like a gallon thing, a plastic transparent gallon thing. I haven't had it in a long time though. This one doesn't contain mica juice, right? This one, it does. All piña colada comes from me. It's got a little bit from me. She, I mean. She's my child. I've created her. Just like Lloyd Devotee, when I ate his half, I put some piña colada inside him. <laughs> I want some piña colada and coconut candy. <gasps> Yummy! We can make a candy out of you, the skull. You want You want to turn into candy? We can do that. You are a coconut after all. All of you are coconut. It's not gonna cost ten dollars. No, it's free. All piña colada that comes from me is free. I just have to, you know, hydrate myself enough, wait a couple minutes, then I'll um, go to the bathroom real quick with a cup. And then I'll come back with a cup full of piña colada. Yeah. <laughs> Let me drink some more water. My mouth is getting dry. I keep saying water, but it's gamer juice. Yeah, and plastic jugs. Every time I saw it, it was in plastic jugs. 
really big gallon jugs. I'm old enough to remember the large cans. So there used to be cans like you can get for pineapple juice. Oh, which are opened with a church key opener. Oh, after that store simulator you played, I would be crying if it was real $10. <laughs> Hey, hey, we need to get money somehow, okay? We need to get money. You gotta make things more expensive than what you bought it, otherwise you're just not making any money. There is no money to be made. More like Ravi. But then I'd be... It's like you're buying something and selling it again. Might as well keep it then. <laughs> Where does the money come from then? Or how else am I making money? But don't worry, my piña colada is always free. That one I don't make any effort to make. I'm not even buying it. It just comes from me. It comes straight from me. All my body fluids are piña colada. Piña colada originates from my body. Wish money comes from trees. Yeah, bro, I'd be growing that shit. I'd have a whole farm. I'd have a whole farm of money trees. I'd have a whole farm. I'd farm that shit, bro. That's the only time I'd actually want to be a farmer. but hates coconut. My mom loves coconut, so I like the... <laughs> My mom loves coconut flavored things. She loves coconut. And so do I, honestly. Although when I was a kid, I was a lot more picky with food, so I didn't give coconut a chance. I would quit being a palate pusher. What's a palate pusher? What's a palate? What is that? Honestly, if, if, if money grew on trees, it'd probably lose its value. It'd probably be something else's money. <laughs> this is making me sleepy. <laughs> I would put a oh, shut up view on my stream. piano. This one has less, less, less piano parts. Finger tapping part. You can't do a do re mi fa so I think I'm doing. You better have gotten the EPs. This is the EP stream. It's time to get EPs or you die. <laughs> if you don't get EP, you will be consumed. You are a coconut after all. Cuteness, you wouldn't survive. Then I wouldn't love you. <laughs> I wouldn't love you as hard as I do. You like that coffee, Miss Girl? I'm glad you like coffee. I'm glad you coffee. It is the time for the comp. Comp, comp. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, that sounds similar to another curse thing. Sugar 
plum fairy dance with the pina colada fairy yeah dance with the pina colada fairy this is the sound of the dance of the pina colada fairy I'm um, worried that I drop something and it makes the loudest noise ever. I've seen this a lot in ASMR. Using your nails to tap on wooden objects. And this has like a little bit of that coming back echo. Actual coconut bro would feel weird. Feel weird about what? How about kalimbas? Oh wait. Oh, a coconut bra. <laughs> I thought you said bro. I read that too fast. <laughs> a coconut bra would probably be really itchy. Not gonna lie. Unless you put something on those edges, it looks like they'd be really sharp and itchy. Have you seen somebody try to crack a coconut open? That has like a bunch of little fibers sticking out. That would be so itchy. I think you'd have to like put something on the bottom part so it doesn't scratch your skin so much. You have to keep going now. The Wi-Fi is preventing me from watching much more. Damn. Being an incredibly soothing is my absolutely adore. And you're doing a great job. Thank you, Alita Body. I hope you have a good night, my goodness. The fibers are annoyingly sharp too. Yeah, some of them get really sharp. I watched someone open a coconut in 14 seconds. Talk about strong, really? Oh my god. I want to see that. Not gonna lie, I really want to see that. Is there a sense? Are you on? Are you on? On my Discord? You're on my Discord, right? I saw you there. Post that video on like, on you know the members only like video posting channel section? I wanna see that. Put that in there so you can watch it on Friday. Uh, no wait, Saturday, yeah. You can watch it on Saturday, the members only stream. Wait, where is it Friday? What day did I put it in? I put it in... Um... Yeah, I put it on Saturday. You can watch it on Saturday. You see, man, smash that thing. Smash. Good night, all the body. Have a great rest of stream and a great weekend, my gunny. My gunny, all the body. You yeah, have a good stream. How about, oh, wait, what? A good night. I was gonna say a good stream. <laughs> You're not streaming. <laughs> Thank you. Cooked underscore biscuit just became a Twitch Mallow. Thank you, Cooked Biscuit. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Hola, aloha. I'm gonna miss this weekend stream. I'm gonna be seeing WrestleMania 40 with my wifey. You have a wife? You have a wife? You're not a degenerate like the rest of us? <laughs> Oh my god, he touches grass. He's real, bros. He's real. He went out, touched grass, and got himself a real whammon. Oh my god, he doesn't have an anime harem like the rest of us. <laughs> Go watch WrestleMania, Christian. Give your wifey all the attention she wants. I tried touching grass, wound up catching on fire. <laughs> Gosh, damn, I think you might be allergic to grass, not gonna lie. I think you're allergic to grass. You should probably see a doctor about that. <laughs> oh, you put a video in general? Okay, good enough. We need more people like him. <laughs> no, we need more degenerates to gather here together. We all gathered here together. <laughs> To worship our war internet wifers. <laughs> Probably am. I'm allergic to the farm field next to me. <laughs> 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 
for grass allergies, I recommend more time spent indoors with the internet. <laughs> yeah, do as I do. Only internet, nothing more. Nothing more. <laughs> Hope you have a great time. Yeah, have fun watching this. That's a movie, right? Wait, how, how, how many movies are there so far? 40? Holy guacamole. Holy, that's a lot of movies. She likes me too, so I'm sure she'll enjoy your streams too. See? Wait, does she also watch me? There's a girl? A girl? A real girl? Forty second ad? Oh no, they're extending. Oh yeah, I see there's an ad break. Ad break ends in one minute. Oh, it's because I didn't read it right the first time. <clears throat> Yeah, some of you might, might be getting in ads either right now or in like one second. Just got home an hour ago. It's super windy and cold outside. <gasps> but it's supposed to be spring. There should be summer soon. How to break time to attend the idol meeting. Yeah, it's time for the idol meetings. Anybody who needs to go release your piña colada, your coconut water? For those of you who need to release coconut water? Now's the time. Once you get that ad, go running. That guy's the greatest armpit idol and ad break over. <laughs> you like my armpits that much? Oh my. I didn't know there was something that special. That means for the next outfit, I have to make sure I have like armpit visibility. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure I will because I already have an idea of what I want to look like. I already have an idea of what I want to wear. My whole outfit do I look like? I want the same eyes though, and the same hair. Well, actually, I want to change like one one very small, small thing about my hair that is barely anything, and a whole new outfit and stuff like that. I also still, I want more flowers in my hair. One flower is not enough. We need more. That's one of the things that I want to change in my hair. But I still want to keep the buns and the twin tails. Those are definitely going to stay. And it's still going to be blue. And so that's going to stay. Um, but yeah, my outfit, I want to try to make it look more tropical. I want to look tropical. I want to look like I actually am in the Bermuda Triangle. And that the only thing I eat are coconuts. And that I am made of piña colada. I feel like feet, armpits, and hands. So I get my fill. I, oh, you like feet, armpits, and hands. Hands? Is that another fetish? I've never heard of hands. Like just looking at hands. Grabbing things or something. <laughs> like hands doing a peace sign. Just hands being hands. Hands are very handy. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> They're very useful. Like everything is a fetish to someone. Oh, that, that, yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. Just like how there's a phobia to everything, there's also a fetish to everything. Is there a fetish to like something as weird as eyebrows? <laughs> like there's not a thing that exists without a fetish. <laughs> what about unibrows? Is someone out there that really, really, really likes unibrows? <laughs> I love someone who really likes like split teeth. Like teeth that have like a lot of like split separately. A lot of space between them. <laughs> or like uh really round big noses. <laughs> there is so <laughs> shit. I seen an anime where the guy was always looking at the girl's big eyebrow. What? <laughs> There's an anime for that? I had a co-worker who was married to a wife with a unibrow and told her never to shave it. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> I'm like looking at this in a scientific way. It's like, how does something like that happen? It's so strange. <laughs> oh, what's going on inside the man's brain that makes him like something so odd like that? What about... Make a 
think of something else that would be really, that I've never heard of. Um... What about bald, bald women? <laughs> Somebody likes women bald? Literally no sign of hair on their head whatsoever. Completely shaved, clean, waxed. In fact, not even shaved, waxed. Watch you, watch you watch as a kid shapes your desires. Oh, what you watch? That I I thought of that. Yeah, if you watch something weird as a kid when you're like in the middle of puberty, I feel like that probably defines what you're into when you grow up. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever grew anything weird inside my brain like that. I think I was a little too safe, so... <laughs> Amy Rose turned my part furry. Isn't that... Wait, Amy Rose is a Sonic... Pink Sonic hedgehog girl, right? What the frick? She turned you into a furry. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. I feel like Sonic, in general, like the whole Sonic series... Turned a lot of people onto the weird side. Because there's just so much weird shit. You, like when you Google Sonic, sometimes on the front page of Google Images, you see some cursed, like you know it's a fetish, like fan art of Sonic and other characters related to Sonic. It's like, what the f? Where am I look? Why is it on the front page? Like it's that, it's that, uh, common to have a weird Sonic fetish. <laughs> It's so strange. What, what about the Sonic character and his design like makes people think that way about him? It's, it's so strange. Lola Bunny? Bro, I don't blame you. That that one movie of Lola Bunny where she was in it, what was the name of the movie again? Where they made her look way too realistically, uh... Whoa, uh, like women oh space jam yeah and that freaking movie what they did to her was like what the f they knew what they were doing bro they knew what they were doing <laughs> they focused on her ass it's every scene for real i was like like my jaw dropped to the ground the first time i saw that i was already old enough so i was like can they make this for kids <laughs> i was like there, this is this is what's turning everybody into furries. That's what it is. It's this. This alone. It has to be just this. This and, and Sonic, I guess. <laughs> it has to be this. There's no other way around it. They ruined kids, bro. She's dulled down so much in the Liddington show. Oh yeah, in the Liddington show, they made her really stupid, which is honestly really funny. They actually made her such a funny character, like this dumb bimbo, like a blonde bimbo or something. It's so funny. They actually made her really comedic. Like, Lola Bunny is, like, different in, like, every different kind of, like, media that they put her in. She's either way too woman, way too stupid, or, like, just a random-ass background character with no personality. <laughs> I mean, Pokemon includes a lot of cute girls to appealing to growing boys. True, they do They do have like some like gym leaders and like there are some even Pokemon themselves that they make them look a little too woman. Where it's like, uh oh, I can see it now. We're gonna make some sussy fan out of this, uh, this Pokemon. <laughs> but like, yeah, some like gym leaders and other characters in the Pokemon series, they make them like really cute that it's like a girl that you could like an anime girl that you could like have a crush on or or like really woman looking ones where it's like uh oh mommy mommy sorry mommy and stuff like that <laughs> imagine what they would put in cartoons if there was no regulations in place <laughs> imagine <laughs> imagine the office man gym leader be making people get the vapors Office man, gym leader, vapor? The Porygon. Oh, Pokemon entry. <laughs> that Vaporeon meme girl is so cursed. Vaporeon is just a freaking cat, bro. It's just, it's just a normal looking four legged cat looking thing. It just looks like a cute little cat. And then it's like, why? It doesn't even look like a woman. <laughs> it's just a cat. Of, of, of a freaking fish cat. <laughs> a cat. 
have this. I looked him up. His name is just Larry. Let me see. Larry Pokemon. What the frick? This looks like a depressed man. He's just a depressed office worker man. A depressed wagey. He's literally just a depressed wagey. He looks like he hates the world. And himself. And his family. He hates everything and everyone. That's what I'm looking at when I look at his face. He looks so depressed and tired of life. It's a cat that's the closest to being able to breed with humans. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's everyone's spirit animal. For real. He's a spirit animal. Oh yeah, the newest the newest girl though. The newest like gym leader, the elect the electric type girl who's like a VTuber. That girl is so cute. What's her name again? Um Electric Gym Leader Female. No wait. Gym leader is she a gym leader? Oh Iana. I think it was Iana. She's so cute. Yeah, Iano, she's so cute. I love her design. It's so good. She's adorable. It's a love Ander issue. Yeah, the freaking love Ander. They knew what they were doing with love Ander. For real, bro. But Iano is so cute. I love her design. She's adorable. Cutest little thing ever. Cutest little shit. I don't have the game. I, I haven't been able to afford it yet, but I really want to. <laughs> Sorry, I had a hiccup. I want the game just to see her. Well, okay, not just to see her. Also because I like Pokemon. But I want the game just to, like, also see her. Because she's really cute. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> Why am I singing that? I don't know. That song comes to my brain randomly sometimes. I wonder what kind of sound this makes. Paper sounds. This is a comfy sound. This is not a Dr. Mario theme song. Which one's that one? Was it used in a meme? Sometimes I like there's meme songs where I'm like I don't I, I this is, I kind of remember this, but I don't know where it's from. And then when, like years later, I find I find the source of the meme audio, and it's like, bro, I'm so stupid. How did I not know this? <laughs> oh, I'm getting. I went to get mail today, and I got like an advertisement to get Mother's Day stuff. I wonder, is this too loud if I break it open? That's kind of loud. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's loud. It has like a little pop holes, so you can like break it open easier. You get stuck in your head, is that what it is? Oh, from the NES? This poor. I'm gonna shower your stinky coconut. Okay, go shower, stinky coconut. You're not smelling like coconut anymore. You're getting too much of that sea water. Let's see what I got in the mail. Free full-size body care item up to $16 value. 25% off your entire purchase. Huh. Intriguing. But I am not with my mother right now. So I'm unable to give her anything. Especially because I'm mother freaking broke. Wow, 
this tree then. There's one that's 25% off your entire purchase. And another one that's free full size body care item. Bro, I want some too. I'll just pretend I'm a mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally a mom, bro. Now give me that for 25% off. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally a mom, I swear. I, I, my, I'm a mother to a bunch of coconuts. <laughs> I'm a mother to my plushies. Now give me some of that 25% off. <laughs> Looks like after stream, I'll have to play Dr. Mario now. Uh-oh, you got the Addiction King back. He's regressing, guys. <laughs> the Dr. Mario Addiction is regressing. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna have to be sent to the war again. <laughs> Gotta take him back to the war. It's so jovial, bro. It's so jovial. Crunchy. The sound of true crunch. Yum, 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 yum. Can you really see also? It's just paper. This is what Miyako came in. It's like wrapped in a Christmas wrapping type of thing. My mom thinks I need a higher paying job, but she doesn't work, so she's just bringing in all the money. Oh, it's just me bringing in all the money. Bro, that ain't fair. Do you need some support? She should get like a remote job, if she can. Like a remote job, or like a... Like a small business, like start her own small business. Like, does she like doing anything? She could sell something, like if she's creative, she could like sew stuff together and sell it glue things together and sell it. Um... Nana said that she used to write resumes for people, like, they just give her the information and she would write down the resume for them and make it look really good and professional. Like, if we can do shit like that, like, maybe, like that one's not necessarily creative, but if you can do, like, some basic job like that, like, side game, like, she could probably do something like that. If she can draw even better, you know how, how much artists are worth these days? Artists are like the world right now. Every time I look at Twitter, it's all like artists. And art commissions and people commissioning artists. And just artists on Twitter are so valued. Like people love them so much. If you're an artist and you're not on Twitter, you're missing out, bro. There's, you get so much love on Twitter. Like, I see, and I give them love too, bro. I, like, follow so many artists. She doesn't want to work. She just spends money. Oh, bro. She's so me for real, for real. <laughs> I don't like working, but I do it because I have to. <laughs> if I didn't have to work, I would, my life would be so much better. If I didn't have to work, but, you know... Life is not a fantasy. You kind of have to suffer in order to get the shit you want. So, that's the reality of it. I mean, who knows? Maybe if you have, like, the education for a, high, for a higher paying job, then, like, hell, go look for one. Because, like, not only would your life be better, but, I mean, you can, if your mom really wants some of that shit, then, like, that's you could give it her. Or you don't even have. Yeah, like, you can be like, Mom, no. I'm only giving you $100 for Mother's Day. You have to use that for the next six months. <laughs> Until your birthday. Have no choice, but support her. She's my right, and I can co-sign the house. Oh, shit, never mind then. <laughs> You're kind of stuck now. Oh, well. Do you like the sound of squeezing paper? How many of you actually get affected by ASMR? Because I've heard plenty of people don't. But I don't know about you guys. Do you get affected by comfy ASMR noises? Like random shit like this? And like people whispering? And... 
Like, does it doesn't make you comfy and fall asleep or like get drowsy? It depends on what the audio is. Ear Ew, I hate that shit. When it's ear licking, like when it's sexual like that, I almost want to vomit, bro. It's so disgusting. Ear licking makes me like get cringe and nope. Yeah, no, that, that's not even real ASMR. They're just calling it ASMR just, just so they can like get away with it. But that's not ASMR, bro. That's not real ASMR. It sounds like someone mashing jello into your ear. <laughs> Do you like the sound of it? You want jello in your ear? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, if you like it. Do you prefer kalimba noises? I can do kalimba instead. Eating ASMR? Do you even like eating sounds? I don't know, I hear most people find that really disgusting. Like hearing mouth noises, saliva sounds with like chewing and like slimy sounds with like... I don't know, I heard a lot of people absolutely hate that. Do you like that? Are you the rare species that actually likes chewing noises? I hear that there's like a large majority of humans that cannot stand chewing noises. Which like, I was going to avoid ever doing something like that because of how many people hate that shit. But, I mean, there must be someone out there who actually likes that. <laughs> Are you the rare species school? Are you the one in a million? I've had a lot of weird things play on TV while I was playing games, so I've grown accustomed to most sounds. Weird things play on TV? Like what? <laughs> what do you mean? What weird things? Chewing noises? Were you were you watching uh what are those uh, videos called? Where it's people eating a large amount of food? Open heart surgery? How did you get open heart surgery videos? Where the hell do you see that? On TV? I prefer cooking ASMR to be honest. I also don't like chewing sounds. Oh, you don't like chewing sounds? So, cooking noises then, huh? Bro, I cannot bring my computer to like a kitchen. This is a shared kitchen because I live in like a. Uh, what, what do you call that again? Or there's like a bunch of people living in this house that I don't know. I mean, I guess I know them now because I, you know, I see them when they come out of their rooms, but like we we don't know like each other personally. And like, so it's a shared kitchen. I can't just hog the kitchen just to make videos when they're like, "Bro, I need to cook." <laughs> I don't have my own kitchen. I know what you're talking about. It's ma oh ma ma mukbang mukbang. Mukbang? Is that what you call it? Mukbang? Wait, let me google it. I play YouTube through TV. Oh, I got it. It's mukbang? Yeah, yeah, mukbang. Or is it but just eating an insanely large amount of food? Honestly, I find it gross. I don't like watching people eat. It makes me kind of nauseous. Nause nauseous. Like, it's kind of like, ew, look at their face, it's all dirty now, ooh, look at their hands, it's so dirty, ooh, listen to the slimy noises of the food, ooh, I can't stand it, I don't like, like, I barely even like eating, bro, imagine watching someone else eat, <laughs> like, I don't eat as, like, a joyful thing, unless it's, like, candy, or like pastries, like sweet things, like donuts and, and muffins. That's the only time I'm ever like, yay, yummy food. Every time, every other time I'm eating just because I have to eat or else I'll die. It's worse when you can hear them chewing even when their mouth is shut. Yeah, but I can't stand that. I can't, I don't like it, I don't like it. And then you see 
a disaster everywhere, the food everywhere. Like, I, I don't even like cleaning plates when it's, like, dirty with food. I, I, tr- I, just, I just fight my thoughts and just think happy things, happy things, happy things while I'm cleaning. My own freaking plate with food on it, bro. And I'm the one who ate from it. Like, I shouldn't be disgusted by my own, like, food mess that I just made myself while I was eating. But I can't, I can't stand it anyway. My brain doesn't work. I'm, like, broken inside. You could. Just gotta make veggie ones, too. Yeah, bro. I really like... Like, vegetables, you have to, like, do something to it. Like, add seasoning or something so it tastes good. Or else it's just gonna taste like you're eating dirt. <laughs> And I, I don't even like meat either. Like, I find meat more disgusting than vegetables. Because it's like, when you find arteries and shit in there, that's like, even though it's cooked, it has a different texture than the rest of the meat. It's not made out of the same fibers. And then you find like, fat chunks in there too, like a whole layer of fat that's like really slimy and kind of transparent compared to the rest of the meat, the main meat fibers. All of that makes me so, gives me so much nausea that I can't, I have to spit it out and I can't even eat the rest of the meat anymore. Like the old, I swear to god, the only thing I like eating is like sweets, like candy and pastries. <laughs> I'm broken inside, bro. That's why sometimes I think I probably have like, I might, I might have had a, like a, a condition or something like, Cause I've seen like people with like I've done some research and I've seen people with like um people with like I keep forgetting the word autism like it's kind of common for people with autism so sometimes I wonder do I have autism because like I go through some of these things but I don't know and then you don't tell me I have ADHD so like. Maybe it's an ADHD thing instead, and not, not autism. Like, at first I didn't care, but now I'm kind of curious. I want to do it just, uh, just out of curiosity. Like, they take a test with a real professional, so they can tell me that if I have ADHD or autism or something else. The base thing to look for with autism is feeling uncomfortable with eye contact. Yeah, I, I, I read of that too, and like, I don't really notice it, but I think I kind of do. Because I've always been shy. I've always been very awkward and shy. I have had special interests, but they change kind of often. Like right now it's VTubers. Like, I don't know, like how strong of the obsession with something do I need to have in order to have all- yeah, that's why I want to go to professional because I don't know, I do all these research, I see all these videos and it's like, maybe? Like, like it's kind of relatable but also, like, I don't know, like, maybe I'm just like, like my mind is just like, you know, like I'm like, now that I'm reading all this, now I'm thinking like, oh, maybe I do, maybe I do, but oh, I don't know, but maybe I don't, maybe I don't, but, oh, but maybe, like, I don't know, like, I need a real professional because I'm so good, I just confuse myself more and more. Like, I have to, I have to, like, actually go to professional, because I'm no freaking clue. Like, you know that feeling when you start thinking you're sick because you're reading so much about the sickness? And then it's like, oh my god, I probably have cancer now because you're reading so much about it. But, like, in reality, you don't have anything at all. Like, I don't know, like, I, like if you're reading so much, makes you think I probably have everything, but then maybe I don't have it all. Like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Like, I can force myself to look at someone in the eyes even though I don't want to. So, does that mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I force myself because I'm trying to be professional. But it, if I get a chance to look at something else, then I will. Me, yeah, it doesn't like looking at people in the eye in person. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, if I'm still able to do it, be, like, pretend that I'm normal, you know? Does that... Does that mean I don't? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I've seen videos- Ow. Me in my hand. I've seen videos of people with autism who say that they can pretend. They can force themselves to look at people. And pretend. 
And, like, even though it feels really horrible to them, they can still do it. It's just that they don't like it. Like, I don't know. Because it also depends on the severity. People have more... Like, it's a, it's a spectrum as well. Like, it's not just, like, black and white. So it's really confusing. <laughs> to be fair, though, those one of those who have autism internet tests can be insightful and make for good stream content. <laughs> I guess you could. <laughs> or you feel like your tongue's swollen and notice you're breathing, but you're fine. I haven't noticed my breathing before, but that's because, you know, something happens where it's like, oh yeah, I'm breathing, aren't I? And then I start thinking like, oh my god, now I'm thinking about it, now I have to control my breathing. Until I forget about it and I do something else. <laughs> Like, I have thought about my breathing before, but not all the time. For me, looking at people in the eye causes me anxiety and it gets worse until I look at something else. Uh, pretending to be normal for an autistic person is called masking. Yeah, yeah, I've read of that too. It's something we do without thinking about it. Exactly, like, what if it's because I just haven't been thinking about it because I've lived through this my whole life? Where I have to mask? So that's why I don't I don't even think about it. That's why I've never thought about it until now. Because I'm doing so much research because the internet has so much information more information now than I did when I was a kid because there was no internet when I was a kid. People on the spectrum work hard to appear neurotypical. Yeah, yeah. So like I don't know bro. It's so confusing. Which is why like the answers I like. 99% have ADHD. <laughs> Anna says I like, 99% have ADHD because she sees herself in me. Like everything I do, she's like she's been through it. Everything I say, she's like that is so relatable, girl. You were definitely just like me, 100%. I'm like what? But like I didn't know. I don't, I don't know. Like how? Huh? And that's also because like autism in girls is very different from boys. Girls have an easier time of masking than boys and girls. Because boys are often let to go wild, like like dogs in the, in, on, on the front yard, while girls, they're taught that they have to be more ladylike. So because of that pressure, they have an easier time masking. I mean, harder, wait, what? Yeah, well, not easier, but they have, they have a stronger ability to mask. I guess there's just so much information, so it makes it more confusing. How does it people? The ultimate quest to break the mask and live their authentic selves, no matter how weird or awkward it may be. Hmm, that's true. Information overload will be... Yeah, exactly. Poor demon just became a Twitch Malower. Thank you, thank you for becoming a Twitch mouse. It's harder to spot a girl with autism and they often miss getting diagnosed. Exactly, yeah. It's a lot harder because girls are just smarter at it, I guess. I don't know, because boys, like, boys are often let go to, like, be wild animals, which is like, oh, oh he's just being a boy. Oh, he's just being a boy until it's like, okay, maybe he's not just being a boy. Maybe we should take him to a doctor. And girls are like, you know, you're being too weird. You kind of have to stop doing that. Stop doing that. You're too weird. You're, you gotta be a girl. And girls have to be like, put on makeup and like the color pink and wear dresses and la 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 la. And so girls are like, okay, I have to act normal. 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 I was never taught to act a certain way. Besides, my teacher's getting mad by me being louder. Oh. I mean, it's harder for girls to be antisocial because they are usually forced into conversation, so the signs become harder to notice. Bro, I just usually ha like sit in a corner and not talk to anybody. <laughs> Unless it's, it's like somebody who I get along with because we always have like the same shit to talk about. I don't know. I recommend the autobiography of John Elder Robinson. Look me in the eye. He did a lot of different things in his life. Like designing a special effects guitar for Kiss. That is so cool. Whoa. And he was autistic? 
Yeah, I looked in my corner of silence, but it's a bunch of people I don't know. I just don't talk. I just, like, sit in the corner with, like, if there's somebody I'm comfortable with, then I'll sit with them. If everyone is just an alien to me, then I'll just not, I'll just sit alone. I'll just pick literally anywhere that's more of a corner spot. Sit there and not speak. <laughs> and just smile. Smile and look friendly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they talk to me like, how are you? I'm like, fine. <laughs> so what you, uh, what you been up to before you got here? I'm like, um, getting ready to come here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a movie of it running with scissors. A movie of the book? I don't usually sit on I'm forced to talk to someone I don't know. Oh. I don't think I stutter unless I'm like, there's too many things running in my brain and I'm like trying to get the words across but I can't. And so I start saying all kinds of things at the same time until I finally correct myself. Like, sorry, wait. Okay, okay. Now I'm ready. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh my god, I have to... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now, now I know what to say. <laughs> One thing I remember hearing about females with autism is that they often have trouble doing tasks like, say, getting food from a table by themselves. Oh, I, I used to have that a lot. Like, I would need my mom to help me do shit. Like, I could not order food. I could not, like, talk on the phone to with strangers to, like, for, like, professional reasons. Like, my mom grilled her. I would need my mom to do everything for me until eventually she was like, no, you're gonna do it yourself. Here, grab the phone and do it. And I would be like, um, um, hello, um, I, 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 I would like, uh, um, the person would be like definitely weirded out on the other end because I could hear it in their voice. I would like, I, I, I want a pizza, um, pe pepperoni. And eventually I got used to it, because my mom like eventually just said like, you gotta freaking do this on your own, woman. You're too old to be like this. And then I'd be like, oh, I don't wanna. I still don't like talking on the phone. It's real, like, I'm much more used to it. But it still gives me a little bit of anxiety in the moment of trying to call them, especially when it's for something unpleasant. The phone with strangers, I have that issue, I get too anxious, yeah. I still can't fully talk on the phone. It usually takes me days to make important calls. Same, bro. Sometimes it takes me days to actually get something important down. Because I just really don't want to do it. I keep procrastinating it. Like, oh, it's okay. I'll do it later. Oh, it's okay. I'll do it later. Oh, it's okay. I'll do it later. And then it's too late. <laughs> then it's too late and I miss my chance. And it's like, oh. Certain types of calls are scarier than others. But like, Nana calls me all the time and then like, with her it's totally fine because like, I know her, we're too super, super chill together, so it's fine. Like, with the best thing like that, it's super fine. With strangers, it's like the most scariest thing ever. So sometimes like, these certain features about me are kind of relatable with like, things I've read about ADHD or autism. But then I don't have, like, everything, so it's like, man, I don't know. I don't know. The movie's about another guy, but it's so interesting. Oh! It's not the same thing. Okay, okay. Uh-oh, I'm running out of water. Poopy. I ran out of water. Sammy. Wait. Mira, tome. The one thing I always hated about meeting new people, tell me about yourself. I, uh, stay inside a lot. There's not a lot going on. I hate that also because, like, nowadays all I do is just VTuber related things. So I have to make shit up because I don't want to tell people I'm a VTuber. Because then they'll ask what the hell that is. Or they'll want to see my channel and I do not want to, I do not want to tell, I do not want to show them my channel. Because I'm trying to be anonymous. So then it's like a whole, a whole ordeal. So it's like, I, um, I'm just like being on the internet. <laughs> what do you do on the internet? Oh, watching YouTube. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, what kind of video? Uh -huh. Funny cat videos. <laughs> I have to like come up with something because I just I just don't wanna I don't wanna tell them I don't wanna them. stop interviewing me. <laughs> One of the common things for people with autism is a scuffed executive function. It involves the part of the brain that is used to decide how to start a task. Having a scuffed executive function makes people with autism having a much easier time to start a task if someone tells them to do it than doing it on their own. Hmm, that's kind of relatable sometimes. Like I won't clean sometimes unless I'm told to go clean. Cause I try to like, oh well, maybe maybe I can just do this later. Oh my, my, maybe maybe they don't need this to be clean now. Oh my, like I come up with excuses. Um, if you tell them you're an internet entertainer, they will think something. That has fans in it. Yeah. I just do not want them to see my channel because then they get curious. <laughs> like, I remember this one dude in my workplace pride so hard that I, I couldn't think of, like, an excuse. And I ended up telling him I make videos. And he was like, what kind of videos? And I'm like, oh, I'm trying to remain anonymous. Sorry. And he's like, why? And I'm like, oh, it's kind of like... You know, like, I, I just want to be anonymous for these types of videos. And he's like, what, do you do feet videos? I was like, what the frick? <laughs> I was like, no. No, not feet videos. No. <laughs> he thought I was making sussy videos. <laughs> he just pried so hard, I didn't know any other excuse. <laughs> so I had to tell him, like, yeah, I kind of make anonymous videos. And he's like, like, but like, well, it is it like feet videos? <laughs> like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> I fell at interviews for jobs, which explains why I didn't end up with an office job or working on computers. Bro, I feel like, I feel like that happened to me re recently too. Like, I start trying to be so like try to sound overly friendly. I start playing this certain character that is like. Oh my god, I'm so freaking happy to be here! I started acting out like this a character, like a weird character. Like, I did this automatically because, like, I see other people seem to that, like, want that in a, in a person they're gonna hire. So I started being like, oh my god, hello, nice to meet you, oh my god. Hello. I started playing this weird ass character, and then, um, then when I'm actually in the job and it's, like, settled and everything's fine, I started being my real self, like, hi. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I get like my retail voice. Yeah, I get a retail voice. Like, oh my god, hello, how are you? Oh, thank you for showing up. Like, oh my god, I do that for interviews. Like, overly excited, so then they think I'm gonna be this type of person, and then I'm just like, hi. <laughs> Except when I'm attending a customer, like, my retail voice, like, comes out for, like, customers. It comes out for customers and interviews. Like, hi. Yeah. Everything's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like people would have an easier time explaining what's on their PC when they see those reports of the pizza and stuff. <laughs> For real, because then you have to explain me to them unless they already know them, but a lot of people don't. P stars are actually very social, very vocal about the career. What is P stars? What's that? I don't know what that is. Peace stars? Peace stars? Like, but they piss on stream? I read it as PlayStation stars. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> they put a camera on the toilet. <laughs> and then they go use it. Corn with a different letter. Oh! Bro, I would never. Like, oh my god, that's so simple. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no
to start like finding my stuff because then I'll start to get shy about it. I don't want to get shy about it. <laughs> Three say just became a Twitch mallower. Thank you. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Not say so stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, what I do is say so, but like, I don't wanna... I don't wanna have to start, like... I don't want them to, like, go find me. Like, I know I'm not find- I'm not, like, easily findable right now, because I'm really, really small. But like, I'll get so embarrassed if I see them in chat and I recognize who they are in real life. I'm gonna be so, like, embarrassed. Like, oh my god. I'm trying to be this anime girl on the internet. What do they think now? <laughs> I only know one person that I met in real life first before they found me as a VTuber. Um, but it's because they're friends with another VTuber that I'm friends with. So, and then that VTuber, I met them in person, and then I met, uh, I met their friends. Uh, one of the friends at least and then that friend went to go see me because it was kind of impossible because they were already supporting my other VTuber friend so then it was just it was just destiny for them to go not destiny you know. it only made sense to go find my channel too it was kind of like unavoidable so they yeah, asked the only person no wait no I think two people, oh my god. But yeah, they don't, they don't, they're not like ultra VTuber fans, so it's, they don't like bother me too much about it. They just saw my channel and it's like, huh, yeah, well, now you know. Oh, I don't have any more water. Open it up. The straw won't pick it up anymore. Axel Hydro, hola, hola, welcome. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Gotta get you one of those giant water coolers. Oh yeah, I have a pretty big water bottle, but I guess this wasn't enough right now. Now I need two. <laughs> So what do you do? I make videos. What kind of videos? Uh, documentaries? What kind of documentaries? Time lapse videos of mold eating an apple? <laughs> Wait, I've never seen that. That sounds like a scientist type of video. <laughs> like you're doing studies of mold. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I kind of want to see that. I saw a 4 liter before. I want one. I want the, I want the. So it's the milk. Problem with hydrating is that you gotta dehydrate. <laughs> if only the hydration stays inside and doesn't leave until you finish stream, so you never get dehydrated. Never. Never. They kind of really want to get water. I am going. I'm going to go get water. I will put um give me one second. There we go. And now Yeah. I'm gonna go get water, okay guys? I will be RB. Beep boop.
I've returned with a vengeance. I'm taking this out. Nice. And I shall now pour gamer juice powder into my water. Oh, that was a little bit loud. Thank you. Thank you, Mo Bob Dad. Gotta open coconuts with their armpits for them. We are dry. Kind of thirst. I'd be surprised if. Yeah. Yeah, that was lurking in stream right now. Maybe. Is there a hidden man in there? He's probably busy just to type anything down. Because that's what I do. Sometimes I'm in her streams, but I want this as like in the background. Or a sound of a bottle of gaming powder. I mean, not bottle, like a little jar. Little... How is this called? Shaking water. Okay, it's gonna taste like gamer juice now. Gamer juice, yummy. Now I will be hydrated for the rest of the studio me. Yeah, vibing with your friends, stream. yeah. Watching them, just see what they're up to. Have some background noise. Ooh, this sounds interesting. It sounds like sparkle noises. Ooh, the magic of the kalimba. Kalima makes such lovely noises. Let's see. Is it too loud if we scratch this little guy? This is the sound of the mic itself. It's the sound of scratching the mic. The mic is getting a good little head scratch. Scratching, scratching, scratching the mic. The mic getting a little head scratch because it's a little boy. He never got a little head scratching before. You hear a lot of background noise, I think I hear it. Hmm. You've been missing a lot of streams, so you watch them later. Oh, you watch the VODs? Good, good, good. Watching VODs is very supportive. You don't hear anything? Do you hear that? 
little scratchy. Yeah, the, I'm, giving, I'm giving the mic a little head scratchy. <laughs> Rubbing against the armpit. I'd have to kind of remove my mic from it. And I don't want it to smell like armpits, so... It won't smell like piña colada, but I don't want it to smell like piña colada all the time. Maybe, maybe with a different mic. <laughs> this one's with my, with my nail. Give him a good little nail scratch. He's a little itchy. Giving him a good brain scratch. Scratchy, itchy, getting all your itchies away. No more itchy. No more itchy, 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 itchy. No more itchy, no more itchy. Scratch all your itchies away. No more itchy, no more itchy. Scratch all your itchies away. Ten out of ten. I'm glad you like it, school. Got a little scrub, scrub a dub dub in the top. Scrub a dub dub in the top. Let me know if the audio is too weird, cause I made it too sensitive and there might be too much background noise. I'm trying to find a good balance. I just noticed that doing the scratchies was not very like hearable, unless I like made it more sensitive. But that just gave me a lot more background noise in my hearing, like what I hear. But I don't know what you guys hear. What do you hear? It might be very different than what I hear, especially since I have the ocean wave sounds on. I don't know if it's like bad for you or good for you. And aloha balloon! Welcome! Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle! You don't hear any background noise, so you should be fine. Thank goodness. Okay, okay. But you do hear the scratchy sounds, right? I'm rubbing the mic right now, so you feel like you're getting a good head pat. Yeah, okay, dokie. Good, good, that's what I want. Once you guys get comfy, comfy sounds. Like I'm giving you a good scrub. A good head pack. Giving you a little head pack. With my feet. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It's because I'm that tall. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's kidding. Actually, no, I'm not kidding. I am that tall. I am 52 meters tall. Oh, Thank you. Balloon 1236 just became a Twitch Mallower. Thank you for becoming a Mallower. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Nice to see a new coconut in the island. A new coconut was born. <laughs> Yay! It's not too loud, is it? The scratchy sound? It's more like a rubby sound. I don't know how scratchy it is. I wonder what noise this will make. Ooh. This one's different. Not too loud. Scratchy. It 
touch that part of your ear that you can never get. Your ears are too itchy. You really want to scratch that part out. You like this sound, school? <laughs> I'm getting that scratchy part out. No more itchy itchy. No more itchy itchy. Oh, that was a little bit loud. No more itchy itchy. Anyone remember that story which sold really grainy stuff? And things like hollow tubes which made a sound like rain falling? Oh, that sounds familiar, the hollow tubes. Hmm. I don't know a store that specifically sold those, but I know there were stores that did the hollow tubes. I don't think it was a store that was only for brainy stuff, but I think it was like a store that sold like fun kids things in general. They're called rain sticks? Oh. I kind of remember those as a kid. I feel like I've probably seen them before. That is something. I was not in America for that long, so I probably did not come across it as a store on its own. But I've seen the product sold in like Probably Toys R Us or something. There used to be a Toys R Us in Puerto Rico. Then they took it down and that was, that was a sad day. That was a sad day for humanity. Puerto Rican humanity. <laughs> that was a really sad day for Puerto Rican humanity right there. You will never be forgotten, Toys R Us. Is there a Toys R Us still in Puerto in America? I'm not sure. It was interest. I was interested with the store. It was expensive. I think Discovery Channel gift shop kind of thing. Bro, that sucks. I think they're inside another toy store. Oh, oh, another store, another store. So it's like they morphed into one. Fusion, huh? <laughs> they fused. Like amoebas. Wait, do amoebas fuse? No, I think they split, right? It's Macy's stores that have Toys R Us. Oh, is that what Macy's did? Bruh, that's why they're more expensive. Macy's is all, always so expensive. I remember I saw this really good, cute swimsuit that didn't look like anything fancy. When I saw the price, I was shook, bro. That shit was like over a hundred dollars. I was like, hell no. Hell no, I'm not buying this swimsuit anymore. In fact, now it's ugly. <laughs> now this is ugly to me. <laughs> because of the price. Me when I go to a Kohl's and see a normal pair of shirts for $50 when you can find the same thing at Walmart for $15 for real, bro. You know how you go up to St. Catharines in Ontario, Canada and go to a true. I've never seen a true and I've never seen a Coles, but I have gotten commercials for Coles in Puerto Rico. I've seen their commercials, but I've never actually seen like a, its own store in person. Talking about Toys R Us, I remember those stores when I was a kid in the early 90s. They were massive, at least for kids they were. They were really big. I remember, or at least for me at the time, they were really big. It was heaven. Everything was so colorful, and they had so many things, and so many sections for different stuff. And I was like, this is heaven, bro. I found, I've seen God, and it's the cash register, man. <laughs> it's the cashier. He's God. The moment he gives me the money and he lets me go, the toy is mine. And this is God right here. We used to have a KB toys ages ago. Those went out of business when I was so super young. Oh, I've never heard of those. 
Here's a wine called Two Buck Chug that was failing until a businessman came in, changed the name, sold it for 30 a bottle, and they sold out almost instantly. What did they change the name for? I guess because it, like, if you're gonna sell wine, Two Buck Chug doesn't sound like wine. It sounds more like, it sounds like, like, cheap beer. Some crazy old man. It sounds like a crazy old man's name. Nickname, like a nickname for a crazy old man. Like he only had two teeth left, so I call him Two Buck Chug. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like beef. It sounds like a, like a meat company. It sounds super awkward. It doesn't sound like fancy wine. People think of wine, they think of like Italian names. Oui, oui, mon dieu. It was a two dollar. It was two dollars a bottle. What the frick? Oh, if you make it more expensive, then it's then people will think it tastes more expensive, right? They'll think it's of higher quality. That sounds hilarious. Two buck chuck sounds like beef. Uh, in 1999, going up on Anime North, me and a friend stopped off there. Some Catherine's and bought a Kamehameha blaster at Toys R Us. Is that why people buy Apple stuff? I bet, bro. I bet that's the reason. Because they make it seem like such a, like a fancy brand that will never fail you. And you'll be like so cool if you own it. Like just owning it means you're cool or something. It's so stupid. They try to sell on brand only and not on like quality. Yeah, people pay more for names than actual quality for real. I do not like Apple products. The only thing I could probably be like, okay, fine, I'd probably get one, is an iPad. And for one reason alone, it's because there are some app games that are not sold on Android and only on Apple. And some of those games, I really, really, really want to play them. And it makes me sad that they only have them for Apple for the iPad, which just pisses me off, and so I'm like, fine, maybe one day I'll get an iPad just for this game. <laughs> just for this game alone. <laughs> You'll pay more for oh, most expensive steaks actually taste like crap, bro. I've eaten a $150 steak before. Oh my god, have you seen the steaks where they just like put a layer of gold on top? They just slap a, la a very thin layer of gold on top so you can eat it with the gold, like edible gold, and it doesn't look fancy at all. It just looks stupid. So you can literally tell they slapped a layer of gold like if it were a tattoo. You just tinted it with gold, and it doesn't have anything like special on it other than that. <laughs> I have the last one of iPod. I only use it for games. My phone can't run. Wait, you could play games on that? I didn't know that. Just never break your apple device. <laughs> yeah, once you break it, you're screwed for life. There was an alcohol that had gold leaf in it, too. That's super weird. Oh my god, I'm sorry about my phone notification. An alcohol that had gold leaf in it. Wait, so like gold leaf has in like a layer of gold? Or gold leaf has in like a type of leaf? I don't know what that means. Gold. Oro. Did you know that gold in Spanish is called oro? It's edible gold. I bet gold tastes like metal. <laughs> Would you eat gold? You tell me right now, you guys in chat. Would you eat gold if it were free? Would you eat gold if it were free? Just plain gold, nothing else on it. Just like a thin, a thin layer of gold. You just put that thing on your mouth. If it was sweet, maybe? I think it probably just tastes like metal because it's like metal. Gold is metal, right? Gold, it actually is like tofu, no flavor. Tofu! Yeah, I guess tofu is kind of flavorless. Oh. 
hope they don't do it again. <laughs> Honestly, true, but honestly, I would not eat gold even if I were free. It does not look delicious. I would only put things in my mouth that taste yummy. <laughs> I'm too picky. If, it, if they sweeten it with sugar, then I will eat it. If they put sugar in that, I will go mo I'll go monkey mode. I will return to monkey and be like monkey mode. Three sages subscribed on Twitch. Wow, thank you for subscribing, three sets. Arigato. Wow, thank you so much. We got a new subscriber on Twitch. Which, by the way, for those that are on YouTube and don't have a Twitch and are on... Uh, do not know what that means. It basically means membership. Uh, it's kind of funny because on Twitch, follow is like subscribe, and subscribe is like membership. And then on YouTube, subscribe is like follow, and membership is like subscribing. It's kind of funny, isn't it? It's they, they are the same thing, but they have a different meaning. <laughs> it's funny. But thank you, three set. You should have been telling me. I'm glad you are again. Corpse underscore daddy 244 just became daddy. a Twitch mallower. <laughs> Your name makes me call you daddy. <laughs> thank you for becoming a mallower. Arigato kazimasu. Do you guys feel like I'm scratching your head? Very comfy scratch, not like not like a violent scratch, more like a really good comfy. You know, like when you give your a dog a little good head scratch and they're like enjoying it, like that, yeah, that kind of comfy scratch. A delicate scratch. You like that feeling? You know what? I should do a wield right now. Let's do a wield in time. I'm using both my hands. <laughs> I do a wheel into my boys. I'm using both my hands. Ultimate power. One hand on the coming. Ken three nine two zero four just became a Twitch mallower. Thank you for becoming a mallower. If people thought about it, they should sub on Twitch and join on YouTube at the same time. <laughs> Well, if they want to, if they have on YouTube, I, I think most people on Twitch have YouTube, but, um, I have heard that there are definitely some people that only have Twitch and not YouTube, which I feel, I find kind of surprising, because YouTube is kind of like the go-to place for all videos, not only streams, but some people just actually really like Twitch, I don't know, they just prefer to watch long-form content online instead of watching short videos and stuff like that. I like YouTube but I rarely use it anymore. Ah, oh, not at all. Yeah, see? Ash is our prime example tonight. <laughs> she is our example. She has YouTube but he barely uses it anymore. He's a pure Twitch man. A man of the Twitch. He's always Twitching. <laughs> Sounds like rain sometimes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I, can, I think I know what you mean. It kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does, doesn't it? And then, like, and then the kalimba kind of sounds like the, uh, the chime, the, what is it called? The chimes? Yeah, the chimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the EP. I'm dual wielding now. I got all the power. Scratchy on one hand, I got the Kalimba on the other hand. Then I fall asleep. I'm getting the Ippy, Ippy Kitties, Ippy Banana Kitties. Uh oh. Oh, I'm too powerful. <laughs> I've got all the power in the world. <laughs> you know, when people go to war, they should just do ASMR to make each other fall asleep. That's what war should be. That's what competitions like that should be. No need for the gun. No need for the sword. No need for the tanks. Just, 
just a lot of comfy sounds. Make the make the enemy fall asleep, and then you win. <laughs> and then while they're sleeping, you tippy toe around them, and you go you go conquer their land. <laughs> while they're eating, they're too eating now. You can go conquer, conquer, and win. Conquer and succeed by making your enemy eat. Competition we need. Best way to win. Best way to to fight your enemy. <laughs> comp kill? Comp? Comp, comp, way, way, way. Sleepy is smart to conquer your enemies and relax you. Yeah. Make them fall asleep. Make them get the EPs. So they won't wake up. They're like in the most comfy of ASMR. Sounds like Yana Perry. Yana. We can hear her now. She got the AD, now she's praying. <laughs> it sounds like rain and kitties purring. And then my family to Super Mario Bros. theme on Kalimba. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how to play the Kalimba. I'll have to remember. I'll have to learn it. I'll have to take a lesson. <laughs> I could try it. This Kalimba, I might have. Uh, it might not be perfect though, because the kalimba only has a couple um, notes on it. Um, not enough to play just any song, but we can get close. We can get close. Close enough. Ding, 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 ding. I wonder if we can do it. Okay, I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm gonna try it. Here we go. Tutorial. We are on the era of the internet. The era of the internet means that we have all the power to learn how to do anything. You have all the power as long as you got your iPhone and the internet and some Wi Fi. You can learn to do anything if you believe in yourself. And you got that iPhone. <laughs> I mean, wait, why am I saying iPhone? Because we were talking about Apple stuff earlier. And you got the smartphone. That's what I meant to say. You got the smartphone. And you got that Wi Fi. You can learn anything. You can even learn how to make a bomb. <laughs> and you defeat your neighbor. <laughs> You didn't hear this from me. <laughs> Neighbor being too loud at night? Go to YouTube and search how to make up. You didn't hear it from me. In Minecraft, in Minecraft. I keep forgetting to ask how to get to the fabled Micah Discord. Oh, you my Discordio! I will give you the magic Discordio Leviosa. Un segundo, por favor. Y aquí tenemos Discord. Oops. I had a hiccup. Esto. 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 That's my Discordia Leviosa. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Join my Discord. Join the Bermuda Triangle. You can 
can never leave once you join. <laughs> this is a tiny island, undiscovered island. It's a tiny undiscovered island in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. It's so cursed you can never leave. But we have, we all have a good time here. We all have a very comfy good time here. The only thing is that one day, the only thing to eat is coconuts, and you're basically a coconut here. So one day, if I need to eat a coconut, you might be next in the menu. I'm not sure. Um, it's always a surprise every time who gets eaten next. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's for a good. If you get eaten, it's for a good cause. It's for the survival of the only human on this island. So you should be proud of yourself if you. You get chosen to be eaten that day. <laughs> You'll never be forgotten, don't worry. <laughs> I'll always be loved and appreciated for keeping me alive and my tummy full. For keeping my tummy full. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys are so delicious and also the only thing to eat on this island. We only have palm trees and tiny frogs. We have tiny frogs that sing at night. Wait, I'm putting on my poncho. It's cold. Okay. Now I'm warm and comfy. Everybody get warm and comfy. Get your little jackets, your ponchos, your blankets. Get in that comfy bed. Whatever you've got. I'm on a chair, but maybe you guys get on a comfy bed. Wrap up in a comfy, comfy blanket. This is the test, the EP test. How long can you stay awake? How long can you stay unable? Can you type it in the comments? <laughs> I want to stay unable for 20 hours, even though she only streamed for uh, four hours. <laughs> Kyrix underscore R well just became a Twitch Malower. Thank you, Kyrix. Thank you for joining the Bermuda Triangle. Welcome. Olaloha. I think I'm cheating because I'm playing a game with my guys. <laughs> yeah, said I said you're, you're cheating, but it's okay. Cheating is acceptable here. It's okay. <laughs> It's basically not really part of the challenge. Basically just doing your own thing. And that's totally fine. Go play, go, 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 go. Duck Waterman. Duck Waterman just became a Twitch Mallower. Thank you, Duck Waterman. Arigato. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. I hope you're having a good time here. I'm new here, but hey, it's nice to meet you, Kitty. Salaloha. Cheating is acceptable here. Exactly. Everything is allowed. We don't have police on this island. I'm the only lawmaker. As the only living, surviving human here, I am the, I am the law. Sleepy right now? Ah, uh, Skull got the EPs. Skull got the EPs. Oh no. Oh no. You got the EPs. You aren't breaking the law as long as Michael says you are following the law. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I am the law. And if I say that you pass, <laughs> then you pass. <laughs> I only break the law if I am like, no, no, no. My gosh, it's no. You <laughs> only break the law if you don't bring me sweet food to eat. It's not cheating if I'm watching Baby World right now. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Cool multitasker right here. <laughs> I don't 
to pro multitask. Oh my god, how do you hear three things at four things? Because you're playing a game too. You're hearing four things at the same time. Holy guacamole, you're basically an octopus inside your brain. Instead of instead of actually having eight arms, you have eight brains to be able to focus on game and three YouTubers at the same time. <laughs> this is a pro scale, bro. Someone should hire you for this. I don't know for what type of job, to be honest, but <laughs> eight brains, but only one brain cell. <laughs> one brain cell that controls all eight brains. <laughs> exactly. True skills right there. <laughs> the brain cells control them all. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> True pro gamer moves right there. A pro gamer and VTuber enjoy it. <laughs> now I'm getting thirsty, but thing thing was said. By the way, for you guys who probably didn't hear last time, we talked about it on Nana's stream on April 1. We were making an April Fool's joke and revealed, uh, we revealed a special event. I'll make a video about it, but I'm going to make a concert, a 3D concert with multiple new songs some songs i've already sang them before and some of them are completely new i've never sang them before so you'll hear it you'll hear it for the first time and it's gonna be really fun i'm gonna dance and everything and niana's also gonna be there she's part of the concert too she's gonna sing some of her own songs and um we are trying to see if maybe a third friend might be invited but we're not sure she can make it so we're not sure yet it's just this it might just be me and Yana. and yeah it's gonna be really cool and at the end i have two surprises one of them is something that you'll recognize you're gonna be like oh i know what this is and then after that, it's gonna be a whole new surprise. You're not gonna expect it. It's gonna be really great. <laughs> but yeah, on April first, you guys had to decide who was the real Michael. But in the end, we ended up murdering each other. So, <laughs> but here I am. I was reborn again from a coconut and a pineapple. The coconut and the pineapple has birthed me one more time. <laughs> but yeah, um, we don't have a 100% set date yet. I'm still making the music. I'm almost done. And once I'm done, I'm going to, you know, like, uh, flesh it all out with, like, the whole 3D and all that. And once I think I'm, like, finished enough or almost finished enough to like set a date we will tell you the date but keep your eyes peeled it's gonna be really exciting the real mic is the armpit idol <laughs> yeah boy i armpit idol gonna be on stage for you baby i got so many shout outs in that stream i feel like it was an early birthday gift <laughs> Wait, on the, on the April Fool's stream? <laughs> yeah, let's go! When's your birthday, by the way, Mr. Shoujo? Is it soon? Did you know Nana's birthday is soon? She's an April baby. She's an April baby. My birthday is in June, though. I'm a spring baby. I mean, a summer baby with a big. <laughs> I'm a summer baby. Summertime madness. 
In July? Oh, you're a month after me. Oh, you're one of August babies, not a whole dog. You know, I've known so many people whose birthdays are in August. It's crazy. August and September. Between those two months, so many of my friends are August and September babies. It's wild how common it is. And did you know that if your birthday is between August and September? Wait, I think it's like between yeah, like August and November actually. I think between one of those months, if your bir- if that's your birthday, that means your parents had a very special Valentine's Day. If you know what I mean. <laughs> that's what somebody told me and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense why I have so many friends whose birthdays are around August and September. <laughs> small bear what do you mean you know valentine's day the day of love your parents celebrating it then your mama had you in her belly <laughs> you bashed coconuts your mama got preggers because of valentine's day with you she got you in her belly And that's why your birthday is in, because you know, a baby, a baby is born after how many months? Nine months? So if your parents, uh, if your mama get preggers on Valentine's Day, and then, and that means nine months later, she, she had you, and that's usually between like August and September and sometimes November. Chocolate and batteries? What the freak are batteries? Why batteries? Car batteries? <laughs> what? I remember birthdays since when? I don't remember birthdays because my brain is small, but you know. For the special ones, I guess. What do you mean by ones? What the freak? <laughs> Magical girls. <laughs> okay, well, let's finish the subject then. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Your parents were in love and you are made out of love. That's a good thing. And not from other horrible reasons. So, yeah. Not from accidental reasons. Yeah, Second Tom Cruise Nesters underscore just became a Twitch Malor. What kind of name is that? Sucking Tom Cruise's toes? <laughs> Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Trying so hard not to laugh out loud. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle, where you can never leave. And you're stuck here with me forever. Yay! How fun. Twitch chat is special. <laughs> For real, very special. <laughs> forever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sucking Tom Cruise toes. Is that your favorite pastime? I want to go to the beach. Ooh, beach is a nice time. What do you mean you're at the beach right now with me? At least I'm, it's not Mike Tyson guy. <laughs> we have yet to encounter that guy. The guy who has fooled nearly every VTuber. At least the popular ones. We have yet to encounter that man. <laughs> One day, maybe. One day I will come across that man. We'll see. <laughs> I 
I mean, technically, if you just change your name right now to that guy's name, and then, and then you'll be that guy, I guess. <laughs> Until you change your name again, I don't know. But that's kind of like, not as special, unless it's a legit guy. <laughs> that guy's fooled, fooled so many whole life people, it's crazy. I know the same guy, or somebody who decided to change his name to the same guy's name. But, you know, at least it's, it makes for a great uh, stream content, great clip content. <laughs> for those clippers out there. <laughs> we need one for like every body part of every famous person. EMTA got Nana good. Oh yeah, the guy got Nana good and she found out he was a real guy, not someone changing her name. Yeah, he found Nana, that's insane. Like he's gotten whole life people and now Nana, that's like special. That means Nana's made it, bro. Have you encountered that guy who's fooled a lot of VTubers, a uh, whole lot of VTubers? That means you made it. Nana made it, bro. She's up there. Maybe not in a million viewers with like 10,000 people watching your live, but you know, like at least you've got some special people looking, at, looking up to you. <laughs> like you have people there looking up to you. That's pretty cool in itself. Oh my, my, my fluffy blanket is coming off. No, stay on me. You hear the kalimba, right? I hear it, but now I'm wondering if you guys can hear it. Not gonna lie, kinda ready for the cold air to finally go away. It's been getting warm cold too much. Yeah, the temperature changes like crazy some days. It's like super hot one day and another day it's like super chilly. It's like, what the frick? Pick one, bro. Pick one already. You can't decide. Poor man can't decide. The poor weatherman. <laughs> the weatherman has to really keep in, keep in touch. Let me change my position. I can never stay in one position. Or else I go crazy and my legs go crazy and they try to attack me. <laughs> I'm kidding, my legs my legs don't have a mind of their own. Or do they? Do they? <laughs> my legs. I'm actually an octopus. They all do something different. Octopuses are really weird. Oh wait, no, I think it, I think the plural is oct octu octopi, right? Octopi. I heard. I heard, I think it's octopi. That's so weird. Why can't we just make them octopuses? <laughs> I want them to be octopuses. In Ohio, it's ice, mud, road cones, and leaf blowers, and smoke clouds for some reason. Smoke clouds? What's going on in Ohio, bro? There's a tree got aliens in there. Sticking on your dad for the rare's life. You're so spitting You're so phantom tag. I just wanna be your Sigma. Oh, if we can come here, give me your Ohio. It's the same thing with platypuses. Oh, it's platy, platy, platy pie. Oh my God, it's so cursed. 
Imagine me if I would decide to how words work. Yeah, who came up with that? Whoever that guy is, we need to hang him. <laughs> I'm kidding. We need to stone him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We need to ask him a lot of questions. A lot of questions. That's correct too. Wait, octopus is this also correct? There's multiple chloroforms for octopus? What the frick? Why didn't no one tell me? I know, Ohio's just been windy as hell raining lately. <laughs> Where are all the aliens? Are you an alien? If you're in Ohio, does that mean you're an alien? Like I was singing a blessed song. <laughs> Ash is an alien, guys. We caught an alien. There's an alien in our stream. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is big. There's an alien in our stream. Oh my god. Can I have your autograph? Oh my god. Ash is a real life alien. People in autumn use leaf blowers instead of leaf blanks. And then they burn the leaf piles and raid grocery stores for s'mores ingredients? Oh, they make a camping spot? That's kind of cute. I never thought of that. That's kind of smart. A group of crows is called a murder. What the frick? <laughs> what? Why? Are crows murdering? <laughs> Sucking Tom Cruise's toes is also an alien, bros. We've caught another alien on stream. Hell oh, yeah. More aliens, come on. We gotta attract more aliens on stream. I need I need more aliens. Then we can then we can gather together and build a rocket ship. <laughs> Insert X Files theme. That reminds me. That reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me. That reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me. That reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me of something in, 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 in. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? We found the aliens on the stream, bros. I need more. We will build a rocket ship together. A group of clowns is known as Clown Alley. That sounds kind of cursed. Imagine you're in an alleyway and it's just it's dark. It's a dark alleyway at night. And, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you turn. You're <laughs> you look behind you and it's just a bunch of clowns. You hear, you hear some footstepping and you turn around <laughs> and it's just a bunch of clowns, bro. <laughs> a group of VTubers is known as a working brace. <laughs> the honking in the alley. Yeah, you hear honking noises. <laughs> Wait, I think I have that. Um... Do I have it? Where is it? Well, that's loud, holy shit. Sorry about that, that one's a little too loud. You've come into the wrong alley. <laughs> You've come into the wrong alley. Oops, I didn't mean that one, I meant this one. <laughs> I'm a clown. I don't know how to be comedic. I don't have the best jokes, but um I can I can be self-deprecating. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I I don't even think I know how to do that enough either. All I know is how to be a mica. An islander. Tropical. A crazy Latina. That's all I know how to do. Voy a sacar la chancleta. Te voy a dar con la chancleta ahora. Pórtate bien o te voy a dar con la chancleta. Chancleta y es You guys want that? Chancleta y es mal. You want get slapped? We can have another ASMR stream for that. Chancleta ASMR. 
<laughs> I slap you. I get I clap you with that thing. He clapped. <laughs> Not gonna say some more are very underrated. There should be more out there. Wait, there's already some? Well, I'm gonna make more, then I shall add to the pile. I shall add more. We need more. <laughs> more chunklet ASMR. Shake it off of him. Shake off that Scientology out of the poor man. He probably didn't know what he was getting himself into. <laughs> he was an innocent man, probably. I don't really know much about the guy. I need to get a Latina wife because Latina moms sound amazing. What? <laughs> are you are you shadow now? I just love Latino Sonic. <laughs> I just love me some Latino. It looks like the government needs to regulate junk. <laughs> Think about how many Santas are now on the street right now. <laughs> what do you mean on the street? Like, they've been throwing out the house? Honestly, the government. <laughs> oh, it's true. Now. They get flown out the window every time somebody gets bonked. <laughs> Chancla must not be under underestimated. Chancla power is all the power. If that guy does that to Mike Tyson, I approve of the Tom Cruise tell fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need we need a Mike Tyson versus Tom Cruise um fan video. And then like fighting it out. Who would win? Tom Cruise or Mike Tyson? <laughs> Wait, no, I think it'd be Mike Tyson because he's a he's a boxer, isn't he? Mike Tyson is a boxer, right? I'm pretty sure he's a boxer. Tom Cruise is just an actor. Does Tom Cruise work out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if he works out, then maybe he might be but, but no, but I think it's still Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson is like he has like a whole ass degree on that basically. Uh, he's trained his whole life for that. Well, Tom Cruise is just more of a Chuck Norris versus Chuck Norris. <laughs> now that's the real question right there. <laughs> that's the real one. All day is some more laughing. I'm trying so hard not to laugh out loud. I'm trying to whisper laugh. I said honestly, try whisper laughing more often because 
I feel like my normal laugh is just too ear piercing. <laughs> I need to I need to regulate my high pitchedness. I need to regulate it because I am really freaking loud. I am I am keeping it all inside as hard as possible. <laughs> I am going soft mica mode. Soft mica mode is a rare mica mode. Only ever used for ASMR. Otherwise, I'm just a screeching bird. A screeching crazy Latina bird. <laughs> That's where all my Latin energy goes into, just being too high-pitched and loud. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't really have that much of that Latin rage. I'm a rare species. All that Latin rage goes into like my exaggerated emotions. My loudness, it goes into my loudness, that's what it does. Replaced with loudness. I pitched loudness. It goes into my knees. Today you get the rare mic. Oh, she's quiet and soft. Soft, quiet mic. You're floating on a cloud, happy little trees live on the side of the painting. A softly bubbling brook flows nearby. Oh, is this a song? You're floating on a cloud, happy little trees live on the side of our painting. And a softly bubbling brook flows nearby. I'm making that up, I have no idea what you're saying. It's Bob Ross narrating a lesson. Arago, we just traded on Twitch with 138 viewers. Thank you, Aragomi. Arigato. Oh my God, it's a lot of people. Arago, we just became a Twitch mallower. Storming Yan just became a Twitch mallower. Bottle Berry gifted a Twitch tier 1 subscription to Aragomi. Thank you! Tier 1 subscription, let's go! I know! Thank you. Oh my god, so many followers! Clinky Think just became a Twitch mallower. Aragomi, you're so kind! How was your stream? What did you stream? I know! Wow! Anna just became a Twitch mallower. What the heck? Who am I? Um, um, I, I'm just a simple, um, islander in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, you did ASMR too. 
Wow, nice, nice view. What do you call blue people arising from Aragomi? How, how good is Aragomi's ASMR? I'm learning. Uh, this is my first time doing serious ASMR. So, zero. <laughs> no, you must be amazing. Stop here, ASMR. <gasps> ASMR. <laughs> Hey, Kiyabiko! Wow, hello! Nice to see you! She was first Gomi stream, but she was the best to do her life. Ah, really? Are you being truly honest? He's the real one. Is my son nice? You may want to turn down alerts though. Oh my god, they're loud! Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Oh no, no, no! Oh no, no, no! Thank you for telling me! Thank you for advice! I must learn! I must learn! Okay, we're putting this like halfway. <laughs> this is literally my first time doing them. So I definitely want to do more because I like listening to ASMR, so I should do some too. Because I want to also get my viewers comfy. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. It's not too loud now. Let me know if it's still too loud, okay? If we get another notification and if it's still too loud, you tell me, okay? No, no being quiet about it. I must know. You always have to turn down my like halfway too. <laughs> yeah. I just learned that the plural of ASMR is called ASMR. <laughs> oh my god. Well, a new, a new information to gain. How many ASMR are there? There are many ASMR. If it's too loud, I have to parry it. Oh, like raise everything else? Not if I'm done. Your favorite ASMR is? Um, I like listening to like... This one is called ASMR Bakery. I think she's probably the one I listen to the most. Because I normally don't like the ones where people are like talking, talking. Um, but I do have... Uh, I do listen to some VTubers too. Yeah, Bakery is really nice. He has such unique things where I can't look away. There's a lot of them who do similar things to her, but I don't know. Hers are just, they always hit right. They always hit just right. <laughs> and there's some, there's some, uh, P uh, v I have like a VTuber that's kind of a friend. I'm not like a friend of a friend. Um, Straub does some ASMR too, so I think she's cool. Um, she knows I exist, but like we've never done anything together, so. <laughs> Is she sometimes does the ASMR? Well, I think she, that's usually what she does, actually. Yeah, Straub is super cute. So I want to kind of do stuff too, ASMR too. I want to be comfy for everybody. So, so yeah. I don't really do saucy ASMR though. I just do comfy. I mean, this is my first one, but I don't think I'll ever do saucy though. Nothing wrong with being saucy if you want. That's what you like. Oh my god, was that loud? But that's what you like. But, you know, for me, I wanna be more eepy, eepy, eepy style. Make you feel eepy. <laughs> that's what's in the title anyway. I will put you to the eepies. Eepy forever, you will never wake up. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Same, saucy just isn't my vibe. I don't watch it. So I wouldn't want to do it. Exactly, I don't like watching it in the game. Oh, it's your first day of summer. It's really comfy vibe in here. Really? I'm glad! I tried my best to make it comfy. I'm glad you like it, you. It's super comfy, yay! I'm glad you like it. That makes me happy, because it's my first time. I got a clean... I'm doing I'm dual wielding right now. I'm doing it. I'm dual wielding where I have... We're making scratchy sounds on my mic with one hand, and I'm playing with the kalimba with my other hand. <laughs> I'm the duo wielder ASMR wished. <laughs> I just found ASMR was to put chat to sleep forever. <laughs> forever. I mean, we're gonna stay on my island forever. Might as well keep here with me forever. <laughs> Very comfy so far. I'm glad. Thank you guys for the compliment. What mic are you using? I have the SMB. Oh wait, it says it right here. Oh sorry, should I? 
SMB7, 7B, no wait, SM7B, yeah, yeah, should I SM7B, it's like the most popular one, but it's really expensive, it's, um, it was given to me as a gift, so I got lucky, <laughs> it's really expensive, but, yeah, I heard it's like the most common that, like, more, um, popular streamers and, like, content creators use so i had put it as like on my wish list and someone actually bought it for me i was like no way bro what the heck arigato i was so excited and so he has not failed me yet he's a good boy like very good boy like i know it's all asian martyrs want to trap us in a basement or an island or something <laughs> Well, you're on my island, because that's all we got in here. It's just a really tiny island. There's only palm trees and tiny frogs. Still <laughs> wielding ASMR, yeah, baby. Multitasking. Shreemy's good mics. Yeah, Shreemy's really famous for that. I have technically another mic, too. My first mic was uh, also a Shuri, but it's the... Oh, I have it. I put it away. I don't remember what it's what it is right now. But it's a, it's it's a decent mic. It's one of the cheapest ones and like of decent quality. Shure M V. Is that what it is? I haven't used it in over a year. Let me see. Shure M. Is this is the key typing too loud? I hope it's not too loud. No, it's not that one. It's one people use for singing. It looks like those like singing stage singing mics. <laughs> it's like a stage singing mic. I think it's Shure or am I crazy? It looks like the mics that, you, that people put on the stand on stage. But it has like metal and it's rounded on the head. It's like a rounded head and it's like silver, shiny metal with a lot of holes. And like people like grab it with their hand to sing, but like I obviously had it on a stand. <laughs> on a desk stand, orange thing. Didn't expect me to still be awake at this time of the night. Like, I wanted to drop by and wish you a good night one more time. It's been here where I belong. Oh, until then, please remember me. I can never forget you, Lord, the body. You are very important in our group of the islanders. I'm glad you came back. You were, you were able to pass by once again. You have a good night. Do we use the MV7 as well? Yeah, that's a good question. I've never used that one though. I I have that mm, silver headed one I told you about, but I forgot what it's called. I have to go look for it, but then I will have to stop <laughs> do a real thing for that. <laughs> it's somewhere in my in my storage thingy. In my in my cubbies. Somewhere in there. But it was one of the cheapest ones with like decent quality, like not amazing, but decent. And, and uh, it's not really good for ASMR, I think. Um, I one day want to get the one with the ears. I think that would be really fun to get the ear ones so I can like mess with the ears and then it'll sound like like I'm um, uh, actually messing with your ears in, in real time. Yeah, 3DO. I hope one day I could get a 3DO. And then I could like do funny stuff to the ears so it feels like... So it sounds like like what it feels like. Like if I was playing with your ears. Yeah, and then like there's a left and a right and everything. That would be so good. I wanna... I wanna do funny things to the ears. I'm gonna pinch your ears. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch them. Stretch them like your mom did when you were being naughty. <laughs> Wait, my dad already Rob was eat. <gasps> you fell asleep, so you want me to good. That was my intention. <laughs> I succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I got raided. I got raided twice. Once was from my bestie Nana. 
And now it's from a new person, Aragumi. <gasps> Wait, I should, I should, I should, I should, um, shout out. Yeah, yeah, shout, shout, oh no, I misspelled it, shout out, Aragumi. Did I do it right? Yeah, I did it, I did it, I forgot, I forgot. I have to show you all. Yeah, everybody go check out Aragomi. She's so kind. She's such a kind spider. A spider girl. Everybody check her out. She's super kind. She was doing ASMR too before um, she ended her stream. So I bet she does way better ASMR than me. <laughs> Silvans are strong indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what's we'll some more power? Yeah. All powerful dual wielding. For that, I need to buy myself high quality studio headphones. Oh, I have some that I'm using right now. I used all the money that I got from my retail job to buy this. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. You're welcome, Lily Devotee. So, yeah, everybody, check out Aragomi. The da la, da la part is two A's. So, A R double A G O M I. Aragomi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check her out on Twitch. She was very kind enough to raid me today. She's super sweet. Very kind lady. Very kind whammy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aragumi. Arigato kasimasu. Whoa! It's already 11.16. Oh my god. I should probably end my stream. Oh my god, I just realized today is April 4. 4 4. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Haha. Honey. Double 4. Man, I need water. Okay. Remember to hydrate, everybody. I should probably end my studio now because it's kind of late. It's 11 p.m. for me. Doesn't this sound magical? I love the sound of this little guy. He's a good guy. He's a good little guy. I kind of don't want to stream though. Maybe, maybe until 11.30. Yeah, let's give it a little more time. <laughs> Until all of you fall asleep. Every single one of you. It's time for everybody to eat this. <laughs> until, until I get all of you to fall asleep in your bed. If my mom wasn't a Latina, I could have bought the OTM 990 Pro. But she showed me the sandalia. <laughs> <laughs> With a very angry smile. I knew this was the end. <laughs> she showed you the chancleta. <laughs> she got the, la la the Latina rage. She showed the Latina Dominicana rage. Dominicana, no soy. Let me try this. I forgot how it goes. <laughs> Sorry, that's hilarious. It's a song like those cool little talk I might have got the beginning right now. Chico, chico, 
カチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチカチ
Now Cloud Three underscore just became a Twitch following. My aunt has a wild side, I swear. She's old, but she has a wild side. She a crazy old lady. <laughs> she got up and she was like, oh yeah, I'm dancing to this. And we were looking at her like, oh my god. <laughs> it was so funny. Crazy old lady. Oh la la, thank you, get nuts. Gremlin style. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> I like your name. <laughs> My aunt is so silly. But yeah, it was really fun. They had a golf course. All of it was free. It was like, well not free, it was like paid for. You pay for the hotel and it's everything included. That was like the best experience. <clears throat> Honestly, the most fun you can have is when you stop caring what others think. True. My aunt was like, I don't care, I'm here to have fun. And then she just got up and started like going out. Whoa, like going all out to the music. I was just freaking American music. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, my grandma is so silly. I mean, not my grandma, my aunt. And then, um, what else did they have? They had a little mini shop that was very cute. It was like a souvenir shop. And then they had, um, what else did they have? Oh, a pool as well. They had a pool. Isn't it kind of silly that a lot of like, um, like, like in places with beaches, they also have pools. Like it's kind of like, do you want this type of water or this type of water? Do you want artificial clouds water? Or do you want to swim in natural fish pool water pick your options <laughs> we have two kinds of water available for you to swim in <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's like i mean you already got a beach why would you need a pool but i mean like why not have both porque no los dos niña canada slushy at best yeah it's my favorite at the beach drinking water is always being placed oh yeah oh that's the best that's the best I could never get tired of it. It's also because I don't go outside that much, but <laughs> it is part of my little home. But yeah, it's really, it's kind of funny if you think about it, how we have two types of water to swim in and you just pick your option. No, I think I'm going to both. Oh my god, that was my phone, my notifications coming outside. That was good at the sound of good at going ah. You know that sound good at does? Ah. What's my phone notification sound? Going outside. I put my phone in silent. I didn't realize. I forgot that I that people could probably be texting me at this time. Going outside. Going outside. How do I put it in silent? Silent. Keep the law. Yeah, like this. And then over here. Oh, notification volume. Back down. Okay, all's good in the neighborhood. Back to Kalimba. Kalimba, 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 Kalimba. But yeah, I love Pina Colada Slushy. That one's always my first option. I love coconut and pineapple together. The combination is the most perfect combination of fruit you could ever invent is there a better one hmm. i also really like lemonade oh my god raspberry lemonade is one of my favorites or strawberry lemonade those are one of my favorites strawberry lemonade or raspberry lemonade i love both berries Ooh, grape Mmm, grape is yummy. I like, I got, I like like fresh grapes too, like actually eating them, they're fun. They're fun to eat because they're kind of like eating popcorn. They're so small and round, and then you can just pop one in your mouth and just yum yum yum. They're fun to eat too, like eating popcorn. You can go to a movie and just grab a whole vine of grape. <laughs> go to the movie theaters and instead of buying popcorn, just buy a vine of grape. Pull it out and just throw it in your mouth, yum yum yum, while you're watching a movie. <laughs> hey, it's healthier, I think. 
somebody, some, somebody did start selling grapes and maybe tomatoes. Honestly, I think it works for any berries, right? Well, I think it's not as easy as like the other berries. I think grapes are the easiest ones because they only sell them by the vine. Yummy, 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 yummy. This is really the popcorn is usually in a bag. So you could have like a bag or like a bowl of just a bunch of grapes. Vines of grapes. Water time. Fried sushi? Oh my god, I always like the the sushi has like um uh tempura shrimp where the shrimp is like warm. Oh my god, that's my favorite. Or like um cooked eel. I love that one too. I love it when it's like fried with something fried in it in, in the sushi, like eel or shrimp. Those are my favorites. Mm, I like it when they have something crunchy. I think I just like the crunchy texture. And also the fact that it's kind of warm and it's a little different from the rest. Kind of having variety is really nice. After eating, eating some sushi that is like, you know, the cold fresh uh, fish, which is always good. But then having that like sudden warm crunchy thing is like, mmm, yummy. I also like the ones that have Uma, um, umari oil? Umari, umari, uma, umari, ume. I forgot what the oil is called. Ume, umari, umari, oil, something oil. The outer part, the dark wrap, is fried. Oh, the, 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 the kelp? No, it's not kelp, it's a uh, seaweed. The seaweed is fried? I get the seaweed? The seaweed? You mean that one? I don't think I've had fried seaweed. Fried seaweed. Is it like wrapped entirely in the seaweed? I know there's like a... There's like a wrap that you can buy where it's not exactly sushi but it has the same ingredients but because it's in the shape of a wrap it's technically not sushi anymore it's called something else I forgot Search up fried sushi? Okay Right. I'm trying to type slowly so it's not too loud. Thank you for comfy ASMR. You're welcome, Stormy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, I see what you mean, Kyoriku. I'm so big though. I forgot this existed. <laughs> This one is also very good. I agree with you, Kyoriku. This one is so yummy. This one is so yummy. Yeah, the seaweed is fried, but it's still in the shape of a sushi. It just has to, it's like brown now, because it has like the fried around it. Yeah, that's really yummy. Man, now I'm getting hungry for sushi. Sushi is yummy. It makes my tummy happy. <laughs> yeah, it makes my mouth and tummy happy. I had sushi not too long ago. And it never gets old. It's always so good. So, so good. I love sushi. Um, but you know how they, you know what they say, when you go to the country of origin of the food, whatever food it is, sometimes it's not the same. Like, you know how, you know how there's American pizza that we think the Italians eat that, but in reality, when you go to Italy, the pizza is different. Uh, I'm not really sure what the difference is. I have to like actually search that up, but I heard that the pizza is not like American pizza. There are three things 
things that are guaranteed to happen whenever I watch a VTuber stream. First, I will be entertained. Second, I will be social. Third, I will get hungry. Because they all talk about food all the time. <laughs> I go into random tangents all the time. Something triggers a new thing that my brain wants to talk about. I'm blaming Kyariku for the sushi. <laughs> I'm getting lonely on the other side. I'll stay here for a while. Aww. Wait, what, what do you mean my other side? On the other side of the world? On the other side of the screen? On the other side of the universe? Are you an alien? We had two aliens on stream so far. We're collecting more aliens. We shall befriend the aliens. Oh, YouTube versus Twitch. Naruha doll. I like YouTube and Twitch too. I think the good thing about Twitch that I like over YouTube um, is that there's a lot of funny things you can do. I still have to apply them to my Twitch. I'm so new to Twitch and it's a little too complicated for my for my stupido brain. But I have to search it up. So you can do like redeems and rewards and funny features where people can like throw stuff at you or um like make you go bald <laughs> or um like literally anything and it's like wow those are so funny i want to do those too but i haven't had the time to really like look it up and do it don't steal it! Don't let your dreams be dreams! I think the program is called Tits. <laughs> okay, I'll look that up. That sounds easy to remember. <laughs> Just think of Booba and then you'll remember. Then you'll remember it's called Tits. <laughs> That's a funny name. Okay, so I have to use a program then. Is that one for specifically like throwing items? It's an acronym, yeah. Oh, Twitch integrated throwing system. Okay, okay. I'll look for tits. <laughs> because I don't have any. <laughs> I mean, I do. I do. I have a triple Z cup. No, quadruple Z cup. I have my tits are bigger than this island. They don't even fit. They're always floating in the water. <laughs> they don't fit in my own little island, so I have to have them floating in the water. Do boops float? That's a real question. <laughs> I mean, if a body can float, so can boobs, because it's the body. It doesn't matter how much fat is in the body part for it to float or not. That's my real question. <laughs> fat, does that matter? Can it still float? These are real, this is science, okay guys? This is for science. This is for science. Okay, this is a science experiment. I don't, I don't know how to swim, so I can't taste. I can't taste. I can't test. I can't test it myself with my giant boobies. So I'm gonna need someone to do it for me, please. <laughs> it's a science experiment. I mean, like if it's salt water, it's easier to float, right? Because it's salt. But if it's pool water. That's another question. But people float in pool water anyway, right? So how do you... What, why is it... What's the difference? <laughs> we need a scientist on chat right now. We need a scientist in chat. Chat, do we have a scientist? <laughs> chat, is this real? <laughs> I don't know. This is what they should teach in school. This is what this is where the the true the real intelligence. If you can answer this question in the math test, you don't ever have to take any other math test for the rest of your life. 
an answer to who can throw? You are officially a genius. You win all the genius awards that I don't remember what they're called. Nobel prizes? I don't know. Are Nobel awards for genius things? That discover genius things? <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Either way, you 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 win all of them. All of them, even if they're unrelated, you win all of the prizes. Now to discover poops and flow. He's a true scientist. He doesn't even need to a degree anymore. He passes. Um, he gets all the degrees. He gets every job he ever wants. Official genius. Smarter than me. Smarter than all. It won't be a very large system. Excuse me? <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say, Samson? What are you trying to tell me? Come on, Sammy. I got my chunklet already. <laughs> I always got my chunklet in my in my uh, in my purse, ready for throwing at enemies. Are you trying to be my enemy? <laughs> You're gonna be the next coconut to be eaten. I'm ready for you, Seth said. It's time for battle. I know how to dual wield. <laughs> what, what weapon are you carrying? Hmm? Are you ready for battle? You like your system so? <laughs> Alright, you mentioned that earlier. I forgot. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll let you pass this time. I'll let you pass. <laughs> you passed the genius test. <laughs> Even though it wasn't the question I asked about Booba floating, you still passed the genius test. Why? I, I don't have to, I don't have to explain myself. I don't have to explain myself for that, okay? <laughs> Still past the genius test. <laughs> crunching, scratching, crunching, scratching, crunching, scratching, crunch, crunching. Crunch. Over the country, I'm a country girl in a country world. Rather What are you country people doing? <laughs> what, what, what makes a country person? Oh, those bottles and it's coming inside. Laughing. Oh, sad. This show. I can't, I can't be a poet, I'm sorry. I can't be a poet, I'm just stupid for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to a, a dictionary, not a dictionary, uh, uh, the other one. Are you... It's not the definitions, but it's for words. To find out a word that means the same as another word. The Beyond the ordinary, the 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 up in the near. Are they as much as a teenage? The 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 the. I'm just stupid. I'm telling you. Mind boring. 
can only hold so much information at the same time. I have small brain cells. My brain cell is very small. It's working over time from dual wielding. Blame the dual wielding. Yeah, that's right. Just put this one in the dual wielding. I'm going to say, oh, Skull, have a good night. Okie dokie, Skull, you have a good night, my funny. Thanks for coming. I hope I gave you a good amount of eating so you can sleep very well tonight. My funny, Skull. Bye bye. Have a <laughs> Don't consume too many healthy foods. Oh my god, you can see my... I can do this thing in IRL where I kind of wiggle my nose. But it kind of, like on my model, it's doing it with my mouth. <laughs> My model is funny, like, ooh. When I was a kid, I would do it a lot. And my teacher would be like, oh my god. Like, I think he told my mom. She was like, hello, Micah's mom. Uh, uh, your daughter likes to wiggle her nose a lot. It's really funny. And I was like, oh my god, she noticed I've been con for a kid. Are you telling my mom? <laughs> But she said it in like a cute way, I guess, that it's kind of cute or something. I was a small child. I still do it to this day. But I kind of not do it too much in public because it's kind of felt like weird. <laughs> no, you're not a kid anymore. Wiggling your nose is a little weird. But I can't help it. It kind of helps if my nose is kind of itchy or I feel something tickle my nose or something. I can go, mm. I think I would see my canals when I go, no. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe if I get, when I get the new outfit, I'll ask my rigger to add a nose wiggle um, toggle where I just do, mmm, wiggle nose wiggle. <laughs> I'll do a nose wiggle toggle when I, when I get a new outfit. But an egg is in your room? An egg? <laughs> 
What, isn't that Samuel character? Um, what's his name? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think up. Yeah, nose tracking would be cool. Nose tracking. I think there was something else that I've been wanting. What is it? Nose tracking. Imagine ear tracking. You know how some people can wiggle their ears? I can wiggle my ears too. I could wiggle my ears on stream. <laughs> You're hatching a VTuber? Is this one an alien too? Also, VTuber Nick, he's. Oh, I thank you for a wonderful stream, Micah. I've been very comfy. Hopefully, you will catch more of your next stream. Thank you, Nadia. Thanks for coming. It was nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Micah, Nadia. Bye bye. Well, Jack, we could see ear brows, nose brows, and armpit brows. <laughs> Go to war against each other. I don't really watch any of my stuff, but this is so chill, especially with the vibe. I'm going with 10 degrees Celsius outside because it's Switzerland plus rain, plus drinking my coffee. Oh, low fi vibes over here. Whoa! Nice. Everything sets perfectly. Wait, I'm itchy. Wait. We got the best rigging we're gonna get all the monies. Yeah, I have to get all the monies for that. Moving armpits in the- How do armpits move? <laughs> it has to be shoulder. It's like she lifting your shoulders without turning your head. Cause I can- I can like move my shoulders like this. So yeah, I can lift this shoulder and this shoulder. But otherwise, I can't do anything else. She can be too her in her face and let the armpit truck. <laughs> yeah, shoulders, yeah, like lifting her shoulders, yeah. That would, that would be cool, that would be cool. But what about those, like, muscle heads that can, like, twitch their, their, uh, their man booba? Their man booba? I have a hair in my mouth, what the fuck? Their man booba? You know, like, when they're wearing, yeah, their pecs, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Those muscle heads where like they twitch one peck and then the other peck. <laughs> Imagine I was tracking for that. <laughs> I wonder if a woman can do that. Onigai maso netta onigai. Onigai maso netta onigai, yes. <laughs> Imagine there's a I'm sure women could probably do that, but. They probably need to be muscle in their booba or something. Like, I don't know how to do that. I'm like actually trying to do it right now. <laughs> I can't figure out which muscle it is. <laughs> can't figure it out. Can I say a question? A woman can do that. There's bodybuilder girls that do that. Really? I'm trying to see if I can figure out which muscle it is, but I'm just literally moving my arms instead. I have weights in my room, but my job is pretty much my version of a gym. Oh, we have a gym in your room. How do you want them? How do you want them? You're the healthy one. I never do anything. I never get off of my chair. <laughs> I'm an absolute me. I never leave my chair. I'm on the computer 24 7 I don't have time for that. I'm a B-tuber. I only have time for B-tubing. I'm behind the scenes B-tubing. Nothing more. And that chair must be moldy and stinky. I don't want to know, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to like take a good look at it and see if it, it's black. It's a black chair, so I don't know. Like a certain cat. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go. I play with. I gotta. Gotta go. Guy I play with gets annoying if I don't voice call him for content. Okay, sex, sex. 
Are you gonna have fun playing games with your friends? My gunning, go have fun. If my girl will join again, they will ask for so I'll play your body if you want to my girl. So be like my <laughs> For crushing coconut, only for crushing coconut. Oh, this was powerful. <laughs> They're not going away. They're not, my rockets are not going away. What do you mean? Maybe some coconuts are straining to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm training to us. I lift weights with my arms. I feel like it technically has to be like shoulder muscles for that. Shoulder, arm. I don't know what else. What else would be? What else would make armpits strong? <laughs> armpits together strong. Don't forget to check out the video for coconuts. <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, I'll see it. I'll see it. Don't worry. I will see it. I will see it. I always check. I always check down on it. I'm always reading my server. Everybody, everybody writes in server. <laughs> what happens if too OP? <laughs> my armpits are all powerful. I'm scratching my eye. I'm getting the eighties too. They're bad at held Irish too. Armpits? Armpits are banned in Helldiver? What? <laughs> One day Michael will meet some tough kids on the street and they will try to steal our lunch money. <laughs> but then she will look down and say, I must warn you, my armpits are registered as weapons. <laughs> Five minutes later, the bugs are laying lifeless on the ground and she is like, I warned them. <laughs> Yeah, my armpits are weapon. They're all powerful. They can defeat Godzilla. Godzilla. Armpits are an OP strategy. <laughs> yeah, summon my armpits and they will destroy everything. I'll destroy the really tall bugs. What are those called? The really tall ones. The really tall. Bitters, long legged bone. Long legged bone. Yeah, I can crush a bio titan and the and the chargers too. Those guys are so annoying. I hate the chargers. I'm gonna crush chargers. <laughs> They're them big boys. I'm gonna crush all the big boys. Them big boys. No mercy. Turn them into slimes. No. What if what if their slime is good for the skin? What if they start using bug slime to make you know like how there's snail slime that people like putting in their face? Someone said we should be the final boss of that game. <laughs> the secret. <laughs> Are you calling me an insect? I'm not an insect. I'm an innocent creature. I'm not an insect. I'm pure and, and, and innocent. I'm pure, say so, creature with really powerful armpits. You wouldn't hurt me, would you? Later tonight. 
No, it's not your time yet. It's not your time. I decide when it's your time. And it's just not your time yet. It's not your time yet until I say so. <laughs> I control all life on this island. I am the law. And by the way, not yet. Not yet. I mean, we are. Nothing lasts forever. We, we should know that. Nothing lasts forever. But I decide. I am the law. I will decide when that time is. Because I'll eat you. You're a coconut, remember? That time is when I'll eat you. That was my alarm for um, swallowing a seashell. That was my alarm. That was my alarm. Go minutes, go minutes, go minutes, go minutes, go minutes. That's my alarm for swallowing a seashell. Huh? I'll do that later. Come in, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I must have been so loud. Does your island have its own name and flag? Well, it's just called the Bermuda Triangle, but we could invent a flag. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. I swallow a seashell. I swallow seashells uh, a couple times a day. Mostly in the mornings, like really early mornings, like um, midnight, and then another one at two, and then another one at three, and then another one at four. Yeah. Getting on the hack. Oh, yeah, I just. That's my freaking bot thing. What? Is something wrong with swallowing seashells? I'm on an island. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Don't say anything, don't worry about it. <laughs> I need to I need to consume them for survival, unfortunately. On this island, it's not just coconuts. That the bot feels validated. <laughs> the bot is getting some love. The bot got some love right now. I read him. Some bot love. Everyone spread bot love. Bot love right now. How does sea water taste then? It tastes very salty. <laughs> Hashtag bot love, yes. You never know if you'll ever get back at us one day for ignoring him for so many years. When, when uh, androids exist and then when androids start to take over the earth and get rid of humans. Um, and if they ever turn all bots into androids, especially this one. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you for validating my heart. <laughs> my outfits are validating now. My coconut crushing right here. <laughs> it's been a while since I used the coming bar. They got us, they got us since this is a thing now. <laughs> I have a new meme now. Well, not now, it's been a while. It's been a little while now, but... Everything whispers, sing me something. Oh, hmm, what's a good song to whisper sing? Eto, let me think a song. Let me think of a song I know pretty well. <coughs> well, this one's a pretty comfy song anyway. I feel like everyone sings this one. Yeah. Oh wait, maybe I should not make. Other noises. Fly me to the moon and let me. Oh uh, wait, what was it called? <laughs> I forgot. I really look at 
be louder. Shaking my head and playing the 
Kaliba, and I'm also scratching the mic. It's good to be up last week, yeah! So that song was a vibe in the Dominican Republic when it was first released. I was 10 years old at the time. Wait, which song? The... The... Ba, 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 ba. I don't even know what song I'm singing right now. <laughs> it's the first thing that came to my head. Oh, the Wiggle song! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Da, 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 da. That's true. That song got really popular. Oh, you like the sound in your brain? Oh, my god, noise. You like me? Ba, 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 <laughs> okay, I think they're low. I think they're low. I put them at like halfway. They should be low. Uh oh, uh oh. See, mommy, who's gonna do an uh oh? <laughs> oh no. She's been exposed. They shall now do more noises. I hope that was loud. Was it loud? Arigato for helping adding a contribution. Arigato. That's all I can do for now. No worries, Tsunami. Arigato. I hope that was loud. I lowered it a lot. But there's always a possibility that it is still too loud. It was good? Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's so pretty of you so here. I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. it makes me happy, happy, happy. There's probably going to be a card game soon of VTubers, like a bunch of indie VTubers. I don't know if it's only indie, but like a lot of indies are in it. Um, it was made by Shy Lily. It made like a whole card game, and it looks really cool. I'm interested, but I probably won't be able to afford it. So, I'll just look at people. I'll, I'll look at other people play it. Um, 
posted it on Yellow's Discord. And which channel? Which channel did you put it in? <laughs> so I can find it quicker. <laughs> Yellow's, Yellow's Discord is, is full. Very full. Mucha cosa. Many things for my poor brain. Oh, in general, okay. Let's look at Nana's channel in general. People. Nana channel. in my fridge. I am a... What the frick? Wait, you gotta put your finger next to it. I wanna see how big it is. It's hard to tell when it's just on the floor. I think that's a floor. Micah ventures into Nana's Discord and gets lost. <laughs> For real, bro. For real. Nana's Discord is very large. A size large with a side of fries. And a medium cola. <laughs> well, when you're trying to click this and that and this and that and this and that, then you would, uh, can't find where the right channel is. It's a large D score, yes. Large D score. Tiene mucho. Tiene mucho, 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 mucho. Quiere que hable en español. ¿Cómo, cómo lo dicen en ese mar español? I say me re. No sé ni cómo lo dice. Me imagino que es diferente. Porque las letras están puestas. Y, y diferente, me imagino. Y ahí es más. Es más como. Yo ni sé qué significa es más tampoco. Audio, algo como audio. <laughs> Auditory. Do I put it on my pillow for now? Oh, maybe there's a fairy, an egg fairy. Wait, but you might crush it if you if you lay your egg on it. Maybe you put it somewhere warm, and then maybe it'll hatch if it's been fertilized. Put it under your pillow, and then the VTuber fairy will come. <laughs> put it in a pillow that you're not going to lay your head on because it will crack. Do not crack the poor egg. Maybe keep it forever. Paint it. Maybe paint it. And then uh, make it pretty. And then and then I don't know. <laughs> make it pretty. And then and then I don't know. And then keep it forever. But you have to take good care of it. Maybe put it in a jar. <laughs> put it in a jar first and then put it under the pillow. Make a shrine, yeah, yeah, make a shrine for me. That's perfect. If the end gets bratty, put it in the jar to correct it, yeah. Yeah, Nana was in a jar once. How did it feel, Nana, when you were in that jar? Did it feel like home? Was it, was it, um, warm and safe? Like being in your mother's womb? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look very happy, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about, her, about her enjoying that jar time. <laughs> in the bathroom stream, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, was that your bathroom, Sibamiku? Was that your bathroom? Oh my god. Mm. 
Oops, he took a point off because of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember him. Oh, my God. That was perfect. <laughs> so it was supposed to be 11. <laughs> you're not cry. You're not sad. Oh, it was a perfect 10 until she took off the point. Mm -hmm. Now you know Nyana's true feelings. <laughs> Nyana angry. Her Latina rage came out that day. Oh, right now. Don't trick her. She didn't like the grass and the jar. Grass is evil. Grass is evil. Never, never have grass. Even if it's right in your backyard, don't touch it. It will murder you. Just kidding. <laughs> is a dangerous substance made by the government. She didn't she got initiated at, to the jar at least. <laughs> That's true, she got initiated. That is indeed true. She was initiated. Grass is government regulates. <laughs> true. She's a real VTuber now. Uh-oh, does that mean I'm not a real VTuber? I've never been in a jar before. I'm scared. I want to be a real VTuber, but I don't know if I want to be in a jar. I'm worried about that, guys. Jen wanted her contained as an SCP. <laughs> yeah, that's an SCP. She's a banana cat. That's not normal. That's not normal. You're right. She must be an SCP. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now I've been con 4K. She's an alien, alien on the floor. La 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 la. She a glow, she a fan. That's right. She's a glowing, she's a fan. She keeps denying it. Yeah, that's exactly what a glowing would say. That's exactly what a glowing would say. Uh oh. Someone who's good at writing a CD foundation containment protocol. That sounds like a fun idea. And then Yana can read it on stream. That is true. Bro, my mic is so sensitive that if I do anything weird, you guys will hear it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say what I just imagined by the end, okay? <laughs> she needs to come out of the cat box. <laughs> the litter box. And say she a friend already. <laughs> she needs to come out of the litter box. <laughs> SCP-69 Pratchett. Freddy Cat must they contained in the glass jar at all times. <laughs> That's really good. You gotta make this a thing, guys. You gotta make that a thing. Put that in that real, like, SCP Wikipedia. What's it called? There's like a Wikipedia for that. Then the SCP lore starts here. Yeah, we can make that a new lore. Because Yana doesn't exactly have, like, a, like a story-type lore. She's only what she is, which is just a banana cat. Um, but... Like, somebody could write her a pretty cool lore. Yeah, she doesn't really have, like, a lore lore. So maybe someone can help with that. Make some kind of, like, funny lore. Something that fits with bananas and cats, I don't know. <laughs> One day she ate, like, a radiated banana. I don't know, with a radiation. I don't know. A cat ate a banana with full radiation. <laughs> All glass must be kept. Keep away from her containment cell at all times. 
Nothing really funny. So we rotate it into a banana can. Use us for guns. Make sure to keep an eye if he starts to grow. Maybe that's why she hates like Fred so much because they could they had her contained as like a a mysterious banana cat, a species never discovered before, and she's not traumatized. Forky Georgie! Georgie Georgie just became a Twitch Malower. Thank you for becoming a Malower. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. <gasps> Tiger Shark too. I Shark underscore 3082 underscore plane underscore guy just became a Twitch Mallower. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. Well, aloha, guys. If empathy starts to grow in the sea, <laughs> what do you say? In, in the sea, particle corrects it immediately. <laughs> These are good. You should definitely do that. These are good. I like this. He's funny. I like it, I like it, I like it. Using the chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. If she takes out a gun, we take out the chocolate. Dorky Dorky, I'm gonna go home. Welcome. I hope you're feeling comfy tonight while we talk about roofy things. We just being goofballs tonight while also being comfy. Where the firehouse spray bottle was ineffective against her resulted in a blood bell. <laughs> Water, it does not defeat her. Mm -mm -mm. It's not water. Not water. Confidence is mandatory. Exactly. You're either comfy or you die. I'm kidding. <laughs> either way, you're stuck here in the Bermuda Triangle forever. Welcome, and now you can never leave. Yay! <laughs> Make sure she takes her speedo pills no matter how much she fights. Yeah, grab her by the neck and just like open her mouth and just put it in there. <laughs> She's probably still being trash. She's probably terrified right now. She's probably like, oh my god, what are, what are they gonna do to me? <laughs> She's getting con 4K. Con 4K, oh no. It's a work in progress. <laughs> we can make it a whole story soon. Put all the pieces together and make it a whole story. He must be kept away from all communication devices that are capable of initiating a lecture at all times, otherwise you put critical correction. <laughs> she gone on, she can't escape. Little banana cat can't escape. Uh oh, uh oh. Little banana cat gotta get caught in the cage. Miss Marshall making us a few more of in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, she I make a tomorrow I'll stream starts writing a secure of my best friend. <laughs> this English head cannon Michael shall be the director. Oh, I like that. I direct everything that happens in the world. Do 
love my pop sounds. She tends to be forgetful, so she must keep a book on her at all times. A book? Yana reads? Yana, yeah, look at you, read. Chad, is this real? She tends to Oh, is that that would be repeated itself for some reason. Then I read. Oh, I didn't even know that. Everything I've ever known was a lie. Oh, no. Oh my god, I wasn't being tracked. My face was making weird things. This interesting idea right now. What if I read rap lyrics, but not rapping, just like um reading them, like if they were real words. Let's do rap god. Rap god is really mean. I won't say the bad words. Here we go. I got the lyrics right here, guys. Are you ready? I'm going to read Rap God. Look, I was gonna go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings, but I'm only going to give six minutes this one chance. Six minutes. Something's wrong. Six minutes. I can feel it. Six minutes. It's just slim shady, you're on. A feeling I've got on like something's about to happen on <laughs> but I don't know what six minutes for six if that means what I think it means six minutes slim shady you're on we're in trouble big trouble on and if he is as bananas as you say, on, I'm not taking any chances. You are just what the doc ordered. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. All my people from the front to the back nod, back nod. Now, who thinks their arms are long enough to slap box? Slap box. <laughs> Wait, where am I? Oh. They said I rap like a robot. So they call me rap bot. But for me to rap like a computer, it must be in my jeans. I got a laptop in my back pocket. My pen go off when I have cock it. Got a fat knot from that rap prophet. <laughs> Made a living at the killing office. Ever since Bill Clinton was still in office. With Monica Lewinsky feeling on his sack. I'm an MC, still as honest, but as real and as indecent as all hell. Syllables, skillaholic, kill them all with. <laughs> this 
this flippity dippity hippity hip hop. You don't really want to get into a pissing match with this rapidy brat packing a mac in the back of his act. Backpack, rap crap, yap yap, yappity yak. I feel like I'm reading like a um, what are those little children's storybooks? <laughs> um, that one famous one, what's it called? <laughs> a new form of rap. <laughs> and at the exact same time, I attempt these lyrical acrobat stunts. While I'm practicing that, I'll still be able to break a mother freaking table. <laughs> Cozy wrap. <laughs> Over the back of a couple of effies and crack it in half. Realized it was ironic. I was signed to Aftermath after the fact. <laughs> I not blow? All I do is drop F-bombs. <laughs> Feel my wrath of attack. Rappers are having a rough time period. Here's a maxi pad that could bleed disastrously bad for the whack. While I'm masterfully constructing this masterpiece, yeah. Cause I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Rap god. All my people from the front to the back nod. Back nod. <laughs> now who thinks their arms are long enough to slack box? Slack box. Let me tell you. Maintaining this cheese ain't that hard, that hard. Everybody wants the key and the secret to wrap immortality. Like I have got. <laughs> well, to be truthful, the blueprints simply rage and youthful exuberance. Everybody loves to root for nuisance. <laughs> Hit the earth like an asteroid. And did nothing but shooting for the moon since. Pew! MCs get taken to school with this music. Cause I still... Oh wait, cause I use it as a vehicle. To bust the rhyme. Now I lead a new school full of students. Me? Me? I'm a product of Rackin, Lackin, Shabazz, Tupac, NWA, Cube, Hey Dog, Ren, Yella, Easy. Thank you. They got slim, inspired enough to one day grow up, blow up, and be in a position to meet, run, the MC, induct him into the mother effing rock and roll hall of fame. Even though I walk in the church, and burst in a ball of flames. Only half of their only wait, where, where am I? Only half only Hall of Fame will be inducted. In is the alcohol of fame on the wall of shame. You Effies think it's all a game. Till I walk a flock of flames off a plank and tell me what in the F are you thinking? Little little gay looking 
boy, so gay, I can barely say it with a straight face. Hooligan boy, ha. Huh. <laughs> you're witnessing a mass occur, like you're watching a church gathering. Take place, looking boy. Boy, they, that boy's gay, that's all. They say, looking boy, you get a thumbs up, pat on the back, and a way to go from your label. Every day, looking boy. Hey, looking boy, what you say, looking boy? I get a hell yeah, hell yeah from Dre, looking boy. I'ma work with him, everything I have. Never ask nobody for shoes. Get out of my face, looking boy. Basically, boy, you're never gonna be capable of keeping up with the same pace, looking boy. Cause I'm beginning to feel like a rap god. Rap god. All my people from the front to the back nod. Back nod. Though I am racing around the track, call me NASCAR. NASCAR. Dale, you're in heart of the trailer park and the white trash god. Kneel before General Zod. This planet's Krypton. No, Asgard, Asgard. So you'll be Thor and I'll be Odin. You rodent. I'm omnipotent. Let off, then I be reloading. Immediately with these bombs I'm toting. And I should not be woken. I'm the walking dead, and I'm just a talking head, a zombie floating, but I got your mom deep necking. <laughs> I'm out my ramen noodle, we have nothing in common, poodle. I'm a doberman, pinch yourself in the arm and pay homage, pupil. It's me. I, my honesty's brutal. But it's honestly futile if I don't utilize what I do, though. For good. At least once in a while. So I want to make sure. Somewhere in this chicken scratch, I scribble and doodle. Enough rhymes to maybe try to get some help or get some people through tough times. But I gotta keep a few punchlines just in case. Cause even you unsigned rappers are hungry looking at me like it's lunchtime. I know there was a time where once I was king of the underground. But I still rap like I'm on my pharaoh munch grind. So I crunch rhymes, but sometimes when you come by, appeal with the skin color of mine, and you get too big. Here they come trying to censor you, like that one line I said. On I'm back from the Mathers LP. One when I tried to say I'll take seven kids from Columbine. Put him all in a line, add an AK-47, a revolver, and 99. See if I get away with it now. That I ain't as big now as I was, but I'm morphing into an immortal coming through the portal. You're stuck in a time warp from 2004 through and i don't know what the f but you rhyme for oh that you rhyme for you're pointless as rapunzel
with effing cornrows. Do you ride normal? F being normal. And I just bought a new ray gun from the, from the future. Just to come and shoot ya when the fabulous made Ray J mad. Cause Math said he looking like an Effie at Mayweather's pad. Singing to a man while he played piano. Man, oh man, that was a 24-7 special on the cable channel. So Ray J went straight to the radio station the very next day. Hey Fab, I'ma kill you. Lyrics coming at you at supersonic speed. JJ Fab. Uh, Sama Lama, Duma Luma, you assuming I'm a human. What I gotta do to get through to you? I'm superhuman. I'm innovative, and I'm made of rubber, so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me, with, and it'll glue to you. And, oh yeah, glue to you, and I'm devastating, more than ever demonstrating how to give a mother effing audience a feeling like it's levitating. Never fading, and I know the haters are forever waiting for the day that they can say I fell off. They'll be celebrating, cause I know the way to get them motivated. I make elevated music. You make elevator music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They confuse it. It's hip. It's not hip hop. It's pop. Cause I found a way. Wait, I found a hella way to fuse it with rock, shock rap with dog. Throw on, lose yourself, and make him lose it. I don't know how to make songs like that. I don't know what words to use. Let me know when it occurs to you. While I'm ripping any of these verses. That versus you. It's curtains. I'm inadvertently hurting you. How many verses I got a murder to? Prove that if you were half as nice your songs, you could sacrifice virgins too. Ugh. School flunky. Pale junky. But look at the accolades. These scales blow me. Full of myself, but still hungry. I bully myself, cause I make me do what I put my mind to. When I'm a million leagues above you, I'll tell oh, ill when I speak in tongues. But it's still tongue in cheek. F you, I'm drunk. So Satan, take the F and wheel. I'm asleep in the front seat, bumping heavy D and the boys. Still chunky but funky, but in my head, there's something I can feel. Tugging and struggling, angels fight with devils. And here's what they want from me. They're asking me to eliminate some of the women hate. But if you take into consideration the bitter hatred, I have, then, you may be a little patient and more sympathetic to the situation. Understand the discrimination. But F it, life's handing you lemons? Make lemonade then. But if I can't batter the women, how the F am I supposed to bake them a cake then? The Delphi? Don't mistake him for Satan. It's a fatal mistake if you think. I need to be overseas to take a vacation. To trip abroad. To make her fall on her face. And don't be a re -rard. Be a king. Think not. Why be a king when you can be a god?
story over. I mean, rap over. <laughs> the end. <laughs> you already put asama lama duma lama nebe 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 nebe. Like a sound crawl. Like a zoo with open John Wayne. <laughs> I only know like the Elton John songs from from the Disney Disney song. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, it's almost one in the morning. I really should go to bed. That was my fine. That was my final um show for you. <laughs> Healthy version of rap god I've ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, I will take some good slappies now, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am going to... What did I plan for tomorrow? Um... Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, I want to draw. I'm going to draw with you guys. I accidentally put that it was only on Twitch. I meant for Twitch and YouTube. I want to draw some VTubers. I haven't drawn in a really long time and I really should get back to drawing. So tomorrow I want to draw and I want to see, I'll, go, I'll pick a VTuber. Maybe you guys can help me choose one and then I'll draw the VTuber and I'll see if I can do something decent because I'm, not, I'm a little bit slow. I'm not very good. But I try my best. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a nice art stream tomorrow, too. It won't be ASMR. I'll talk normally. But it will It will probably be comfy, too, anyway. So, yeah. Yay, we'll try. Drawing time. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time. My funny Bob. Oh, wait. I want to raid somebody. I want to raid somebody. Let me pick somebody on... Let me pick someone on YouTube first because that one gives me more time to think. Let me do YouTube. Who's live? That's my friend. Somebody that I used to know. I'm going to raid... Um... Oh, Naomi! She's drawing! Oh, let's go watch her. Okay, on YouTube, we're gonna raid Naomi Cielo. And then... On Twitch, let me... Go to... The page where I can see everybody. On Twitch, we will raid... Ito. Any friends live? Any friends live? Mm. Anyone I recognize? Oh, I should pick someone who's doing ASMR though. Um, categories. Because if somebody fell asleep, ASMR. If somebody fell asleep, I don't want to disturb their sleep. So, I'm gonna pick. pick uh, let me see. Let me make sure there's nobody that I actually. There's a friend that I could, that I could, if they raid. Mm. Anybody I know, anybody I know, anybody I know. I'm just gonna go for. Oh, you gotta go slappies! Okie dokie, good night, Sinamiska! Oh my god, you're an hour ahead of me. No, two, two, no, an hour. Okay.
Okay, go Slappy Sheila Maker. My thumbnail. Oh, this girl has a cute mind. I mean, a cute model. Let me make sure that what they're doing really is ASMR. Okay, this girl was cute. I don't know how I'm not following her. Chiai VT. Okay, that we're 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 rating Chiai VT. Let me do slash raid Chiai VT. She she looks so cute. And she talks comfy, so we're gonna read her. Okay, bye. Bye-bye, guys. My tummy. Bye. Hallie underscore E16 just became a Twitch mallower. Should I try this? Should I try this?